All right, we're live. Thank you, everyone, so much for coming and watching again tonight. It's great to have you here. You don't see Daylight Live, Dave. You don't see. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, hold on. We might be live. Hello. Okay, we're live. I think it's Meredith. So we're going through a bit of a technical difficulties here. We have Frank Diarmada. Uh, my co oh, a colorist Are for years at Marvel, I'm he's still doing covers over me. PC. Meredith is talking behind me right now. This is oh, chaos okay. because uh, we cannot I'm, figure out I his mic. <laughs> and she's on the phone with him right now. We're oh, working it out. out. We did this early too, by the way, they just to make right. sure. Um, but yeah, they'll get that figured out. And in the meantime, oh, Frank, uh, you've got like don't stress. You've got I know. Uh, hi to Trenton and Charles Petrie's here. Israel, one mighty yard. Good to see you here. Hi, oh Emmanuel. Uh, I'm going to chat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing. So this drawing here, this is uh, this is going to be Kitty Pride, and this is actually for my sister. I talked to her yesterday. Uh, All right. Are you working? What happened? He's working. He thinks he's got it. Yeah. I'm calling him again. And okay. Am I on the, can you hear my microphone? Say can, something. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, you're coming up. There we go. Okay. I'm not even on the Monday night. I just went this kind of like it came down. There we go. Well, see, now yeah, you can see you're like, up. Okay. There we go. I'm good. Okay. So I'm drawing Kitty Pride. This is for my sister. My sister actually got me into comics. She used to read comics oh, when I was young. Oh, it's for Leslie. Yeah, it's for Leslie. I talked to her yesterday and I said, you have a request? And she said, Kitty Pride. And she been, is a huge Alan Davis fan. You have never drawn anything for your sister. Do you know that? No. Well, there you go. Well, I've been married to, I've been married slash with you for 15 years. <laughs> You've done stuff for Audrey and Max, your your niece and nephew. You've never done anything for Leslie. SES Powerlifting has a super chat for $5. It says it's fun time. Thank you so much for being here. I saw your comments on the video fun earlier time. on. It's great to see you. Bruce Wayne. Hi. Ferris. Yeah, Alan Davis is great. Okay, so um, it, now let me see if, if Frank is ready, because if he is, we're going to do this. How's it going? He's still working on it. He doesn't have sound yet. Don't okay. worry. Okay, he's totally still working fine, on Frank. it. Frank, don't you worry. I just want to... I have, <laughs> we're still working on it. <laughs> as, we, as we wait for Frank... I'll start drawing. You start drawing, because I have four things I need to say. Okay. First of all, I need somebody to remind me at the end of the stream that it's garbage night. Because normally I put out <laughs> garbage before we go on the stream. And you've been sick. I've we all know I've been sick. Now Dave's sick. Yeah. So I need somebody please to remind me at the end of the stream it's garbage night. Because I don't want more garbage sitting in my garage for another week. Number two, the red Sony Kickstarter. Dave, that's launching soon, isn't it? Uh, next week, and actually, we have an announcement for that. Next weekend, we're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna have what? Uh, who? Who? What? What? Who are we gonna have on the stream next week? We're gonna have Nick Brucci, the publisher and owner of Dynamite Comics. He's gonna be on uh, next week, and we'll be talking about the Red Sonia cover. Uh, Frank is actually coloring it. I was very lucky to get him to do it, and so. Uh, you know, we had Frank on here today, which I'm thrilled about. Oh, we're going to get it. We're going to work out. We've got two hours. I told Frank, I'm like, okay, Frank, yeah, there's time. It's going to be fine. And I can we've see he's waiting time. in the lobby right now. And so we've uh, got time. He's just trying to figure out his microphone. And actually, maybe, you know what? I, it's I, totally fine. Here's the problem. I can't tell when it's working or not until so, he's no, actually we'll, in. We'll keep going back. We'll keep okay. checking in. And well, that's uh, number two. I have four things. So slow your roll, my friend. Right. Okay. And everybody else on the stream. Batman Catwoman. On sale tomorrow. Pre, sorry, pre-sale tomorrow at noon Eastern time. Oh, so, you're mentioning this, but let me. No, no, no. Hold on. on. Do you have Do you have an image? Select window or screen. Did you know I was going to do this? You didn't. I did. I did but not know you were going to do fair, this. But... To be fair, I okay. didn't know Frank was going to be so, here. Okay, I've got my screen up. Tonight. Here we so, go. Hold on. Communication in the Finch household <laughs> not the greatest this week. Okay. So tomorrow, Things noon Eastern. Up. Here we go. Come on. You can pre-order. So this is it. This is my um, Batman Catwoman cover. Which kicks ass. Thank you very much, Pardon Meredith. my, that's not a PG-13 It really, word. actually, you know what? It really is not. I shouldn't sorry, say thank you. I said you. ASS word. Yeah. It kicks ASS. We have. Um, Did we lose our, we lose our PG rating? <laughs> maybe. Anyway, yeah, so this is it. I, there are a couple of versions. There's this one with, I guess this one has There's the. The no, heading on that it doesn't have a proper title. That's, oh, this that's one the has the title. One. Yeah. And then there's a black and white version. And then this is a black and white version. Yeah. And actually I have, 
Uh, you know what? I want to show a couple more pictures before we go on. Okay. So Eric Grove, who is our moderator here and also the administrator on Discord and just a great all around guy. Uh, his daughter actually has been drawing also. She's very Wait, young. Before we do that, and, can but, I just tell he, people where they can get these covers? Or is that related? To I, I still have more to go because uh, okay. I want to show right. the actual right. artwork. Anyway, All right. so he sent a picture of her drawing. I thought it was very cute and I wanted to show it. And so I wanted to actually share my screen anyway, just to show. So here she is. She's drawn and she's looking at Kevin Nolan. This is what Eric is looking at right now for some heads. This is my favorite head reference book of all time. Do you this know is... how mad your own child's going to be right now? <laughs> You'll live. So, yeah, she's looking at some Kevin Nolan, uh, Dan Jurgen's artwork. Adorable, and Eric. here's some of her art Super that she's adorable. doing. There you go. It's looking Aww, great. How great so is that? Adorable. Yeah. So, thank you so much, Eric, for sending that in. What is she, like three? I, Maybe. I think you said three. Or, four, three you know or what? Four. I'm going to have to ask him again. Than, she's I'm not older like than I'm like the four. worst friend That's, on earth because he told me in. You okay. are the worst. We all know that. Okay. And oh, I have one other thing, I'm Meredith, and I'm stream. sorry. You can take over in just a minute. But I have to mention also that Dragon Rage is ending tomorrow. This is Jimmy Reyes's and Page One Comics book. We uh, were talking about it a couple of weeks ago on the stream. Um, he's got one more day. He's met his goal. He's doing great. But my cover, which you can kind of see a preview of here, and here is more of it here, is only going to be available until tomorrow. And so, actually, I just talked to Jimmy. He said, hey, you know, can you mention this? Because, uh, look, every oh, little bit helps. if you want helps. a cover, get it. Yeah, if you now. want this cover, definitely you need to uh, get on it tonight. And I would really appreciate it if you did. And really, it's just helping out a great guy. You know, Jimmy's got a, his own uh, stream that he does, Page One Comics. You can find that on YouTube. He's Great. And, you know, uh, this is it's an indie book. He's doing everything himself. Um, he's putting a lot into it and, you know, a lot of resources into it. And so I really, really, you know, want to help him out as much as we can. So thank you so much, Jimmy, for reminding mm -hmm. me. I really hope he has a, a strong, you know, push at the end for this one. So there you go. So there's that. And let me. You didn't even let me. Yeah, but. Uh, put okay. down the where people can get your cover before you're pushing everybody else's stuff. Not that that's not. But great. I wanted to get everything. Eric, up that I just I had put it out this... there. I think it's out as David Finch because for some reason I'm Dave Finch tonight and not Slurp Cat. Who the heck knows what's going on in this house? <laughs> I don't even know. Well, Every it's... time I sign into my computer, it's like a whole new adventure. And I want to point out, by the way, uh, speaking of Jimmy, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so much. <gosh. laughs> but you'll notice that my uh, live chat is actually because we are sick. It's yeah. a little. And bit I, crazy I actually, I did not sleep cold. last night. I. I I had so much work that I had to do. I went to bed at six o'clock in the morning. Every so night. It was like that. But the uh, live chat is actually working now. Well, and that's exciting. Well, it's working. For, it was working for me anyway. So nobody Jimmy cares fixed it about you. Me. Oh, Jimmy fixed it. That yep. was your problem. So we've got the SES powerlifting super chat for $5. It's fun time. Thank you, SES. I know there's more super chats because we've been taking care of stuff. Chris Lavoy is a super chat for $20 Canadian. Thank you so oh, wow. much, yeah, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank Chris you says, much. hey, Meredith and Dave, thanks for the many hours of wholesome entertainment, except I said the ass word. So Meredith. Chris, ass. You just said, come on. You can't apologize for saying something. I <laughs> I'm sick. I, yeah. I have a question for Dave, says Chris. When practicing fundamentals, should I be drawing larger images, the whole page, or smaller, many images on a page? Thanks. Dave, I feel like this really speaks to what you've done this week in so many ways. Uh, okay, you'll have to explain Drawing that. larger images, like a whole page, or smaller images, many images on a page. So what does that... Oh, oh I see what you're saying. You <laughs> right. see where I'm going with this. Yeah, right? okay, so I'm working on a double-page spread, and this thing is... My hands are going to go out. It's enormous. It's actually so big. I'm drawing it's it on... Four it's pages. four pieces of paper this size here. This is 11 by 17, and... Um, in order to draw it, I'm, I'm folding it over and trying to like, it, it's, it's a lot. So yeah, absolutely. For sure. It's, um, yeah, oh, right. The question. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be like that tonight. Um, smaller definitely is better when you're working on detail. Larger is, is better because you can get more in, but when you want to work on your figures and you want things to improve and you know, you want to be able to iterate on the page smaller, absolutely fill the page with a bunch of little sketches. And you know what? Now that we've got all that, Meredith, I have uh, the actual original art for the Batman <gasps> cover. And so I wanted, I went upstairs and grabbed it. So I wanted to, oh, I'd knock my camera. Bing, bing, bing. So there you go. So I knew I was coming back. I to sent it. it to Eric. I think I sent it to Eric. I put it somewhere on the stream as David Finch. What are we talking so about now? In the live chat, I put where you could pre-order it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. 
and I'll, I'll try to maybe Eric, Eric, because you're awesome, Eric. Oh, Eric, I love you so much. Could you like repost it? And Dave, at the end of the stream, can you add it? You know what I meant somewhere? to do? I, the Streamyard has this thing you can do a ticker along the bottom, okay, and well, I meant you to do. Have, but I didn't do it. Anyway, go to comment. I would. I'll say it out loud because sometimes saying things out loud helps. <laughs> But go to, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to www.shop.comicsketchart, because they're the people who represent Dave, dot com. And then it's David Finch exclusive variants. So if you want to get your copy of one of these variants, they go on sale to pre-sale tomorrow at noon Eastern. So you want to grab this. Because look at that cover. It's insane. Thank you. It I was mean, fun. And the I cover itself, the original artwork sold like that. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. yeah. And I have right. to say, be the forge, which is Maddie. You know, right, be the forge. That's Maddie. That's our friend Lance's Maddie. Says, Meredith, please get better soon. You sound like you're dying. What's funny with that is that actually, Maddie, I feel like I'm like the best I've been all week. <sighs> dying was Thursday. Thursday was dying. I was like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I spent on the couch. Yeah. Sunday, I did do a little housework. I organized because we're moving, so I have to clean the house. The house has to look good. We're going to put it up for sale. So I organized our closet. I cleaned our bathroom. I cleaned our bedroom because like, I've got 30 days now to get the house together before we put it on the market. Yeah. But today, I, I'm not going to lie. I spent a significant portion of the couch on, on the couch today, too. But I feel better. Like maybe tomorrow. I haven't seen my horses for like a week and a half. That tells you just how sick I'm feeling. So I've been drawing all of the uh, modern costumes for characters. And I'm really torn. I'm drawing the classic one because this is for my sister. This is yeah, her era. On. This is she wants the classic yeah. Kitty Pride. So, yeah, this is the Alan Davis. And actually, I'm right now, for my reference, I'm looking at Alan Davis on the screen. That's I what I was that. just pulling up there. We have a super chat for des from Designs by CAD Pro for a dollar. Thank you so much, Designs by CAD Pro. I feel like I have to say that whole thing. Yes, thank you very much. Much appreciated. And I'm getting there. Super chat from ODM Photography for $2. Thanks for another Monday Night Draw, Dave and Meredith. Thank you for being here, ODM. Thank you. You know what? Thank you to everybody who's here every week. Yes. Honestly, I have to say, like, I love when new people join the stream. But it really is the connection and the interaction with the people that we that are here every week. It, it makes it fun to say it's it's the difference between saying, oh, my gosh, it's Monday night. I got to go downstairs and oh, it's Monday night. I get to go down and hang out with my friends. Like it feels like a family yeah. and a community. And I feel like I see them maybe a little bit more just because the John Discord. Uh, well, as much as I can be, but also just in the uh, video comments. Sure. Uh, when I see comments, you know, it's, like I saw SES was on there, uh, commented on the video that I did with, oh, by the way, I did a video with Dr. Rock. It's on oh, the Oh, yeah, the, ha the Halloween spectacular. Yes, which was a blast. He is so I had to. I, I was in that video, just so you know. I want everybody to know that was my hand. <laughs> he edited it so well. You did know what? I'm probably making her a little large in the chest here. You what? Oh, yeah, don't do that. He edited it so well that people were saying, you guys like live right beside each other? He is in Austria. We're in Canada. That is all the power of editing. I haven't watched it yet. I'm excited to watch it. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that after the stream tonight. And I, after I put out the garbage. That's right. Somebody remind me to put out the garbage. <laughs> we have another super chat from Trenton Massey, or Masai, M-A-S-I, Masai, for $5. Hi, Dave. It's Trent. Hi, Meredith. Can you do a quick demo on robots? I'm trying to learn robots, such as a transformer. Love your art. Keep it up. You know uh, what's funny is I just bought this because I'm homeschooling Isaac. We're, we'll get to your robots, Trent, I promise. But I started Isaac with a book, Escape from Escape from Robot Island or something, because I found this brave. I, I don't know. I'm homeschooling. I'm just desperately trying to find stuff for him to read and write. And he's like, thank you. This is the first non, like, wimpy kid Big Nate book, Dave. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. Oh, yeah. Anybody who's read those books knows what I'm talking about. This is the first book that is not like literally a graphic novel. He said, thank you for getting me this book, Mom. I really like it. Wow, that is great. I love the, you know, my favorite thing about the chapters? They're freaking short. One chapter, I'm like, read me a chapter. He's like, I read it. I'm like, how could you possibly read it? The chapter was literally a page. 
So there's such a sense of accomplishment for him too. I like chapter four was half a page. So uh, I'm, I'm so interrupting. I, but you know, I got to talk about the picture a little bit okay, too. So I, I was talking to Jimmy again, and uh, I was talking we are about, on such different. Like <laughs> I know. You know what? Well, I'm talking we're about my going picture this here. Way and we're like, and then we're like, Meow. I'm talking about my picture here, directions. and he said it's great. You're drawing Kitty Pride. You can have her like you know coming out of a wall. Well, I have her coming out of the floor. And so, you got to talk go. about robots because Trent super chatted. <laughs> oh yes, robots. robots. Sorry, Let me Trent, go to but my... you made me think about robots, and that's what you get. You get Meredith talking about homeschooling her kid. My background today sometimes has... it's good, sometimes it's not. My background today has all kinds of splatter on it from the stuff that I did last week. But all right, um, robots. Robots. So I will say this: I'm going to be doing actually this week tomorrow. I'm working former type robots. Right, I got it. I'm going to be doing um, cars. That's something that people that you guys have been asking for a lot. Uh, basically, cars and, and guns. So I think you know what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to do a cool car and put it like a gun top of it. And then I get them both in. So there you go. Anyway, sure. this is sure, it's similar. So like a transformer type robot. I mean, first of all, you have to think in terms of it's a robot. So it's like a humanoid kind of a form, assuming that it is. And I'm just going to assume that. So, you know, I'll just draw like a. I'll just draw a figure. Here's and. Here's the other hand, here's his head. And then now that I've got that, uh, his chest is gonna be, you know, a square like this. And then I'm not looking at the robot, so I don't really know. I mean, you'll have to, but you wanna break it down into simple, you know, kind of shapes. You shouldn't have to use perspective for this. Like this is something that moving simple space, shapes in space like this is is a fundamental thing that you, you're gonna have to learn just to draw figures even really. So, you know, here's his hands. I, I gotta be honest, I feel like I'm covering something that you know, but I don't know how else to, like, I'm, I'm trying to approach this in a way that makes sense to me. That's why I kind of hesitated for a second too, because I'm, it, some questions are a little specific and I'm not sure exactly how to, okay, so here he is kind of blocked in. And then from there, it's a matter of, you know, let's say he's got a bit more of a taper to his chest here. I'll just, you know, and you have to look at your, the model or the, you know, Ideally, you want to have the toy. If you're drawing a transformer, have the toy. I'm telling you, like it'll make so you can turn it around. It's much easier. And so then, you know, you know that like the chest shape. Here's my chest shape. I can just start altering it within, you know, that perspective that I already had established. And I'll alter his shoulder, and you know, draw it into that perspective that I've already kind of got. And so everything kind of fits. That's how I would go about that. Detail is another thing, but I would say this: I did a um, how to draw textures on armor. Uh, video not long ago and that one really covers you know how to get the detail all kinds of different textures for more of a it was like old armor mixed with like you know new techie kind of armor that would fit for this so there you go i do hope that's helpful perfect the next super chat i have is from fraga boom which is dan fraga no kidding for a dollar 99 says dan says hey gang back dragon rage woo woo oh wow you know thank you so much dan that's it's great to have you here um, and you know, they see it. Look at that. It, Dan is, is back in dragon rage and putting his money with his, where his mouth is. It's really, That's you know, awesome. Much appreciated. That's really great. And Eric says, thanks for sharing my daughter's drawing. By the way, she's for Dave Finch. She got a huge kick out of watching you show it. Oh, Yay. that's great. She's watching it. Now I'm go so to bed. Glad. My kids were always in bed at that age by eight o'clock. <sighs> Eric, you're but keeping your kid up late. I know the way that I was presenting things didn't really make sense, but I had a we few had, things in I have an folder. agenda. Look, at, I have an agenda. Wow. This is my agenda. So, I haven't even got to item number four, which is Frank's apology. Is Frank still in the lobby? No, he's not in the lobby, so you might want to call him and see what's going on. He's okay, not, can you mute me? Mute uh, my mic. Um, Did he, could he, sure, you're okay, you're muted. I mean, people will still be able to hear you, it's, but it won't be as loud. Call Frank. I won't put him on speakerphone. How about that? All right. Frank bailed. He's like, I can't get my microphone to work. Frank, what happened? Yeah, Frank's a busy guy. Uh, you know, he's got work to do. He does, and actually, uh, he's, he's... Your red Sonya, which is gonna be awesome. Hey, yeah. Frank, it's Meredith. You couldn't get to work. Sounds good. This is hey, this is my cell phone. So just call me back. So I muted her microphone, cell. and now I'm just basically okay. listening to Perfect. her talk. Thanks, Frank. All right. Okay, you're back. So what's the deal? He's still trying to work it out. Okay. Still trying to work it out. We might not be able to make it happen today. And if that's the case. Did you we'll unmute just... me? Yeah, you're unmuted. Okay. 
Well, then we'll have to have Frank another time. We, yeah, we do I have Nick. Nick, we do have. I have music Nick for you being week. unmuted. Did you just put music over me talking? No, it's it was your theme song. What's my theme song? Uh, well, I can't hear it, but it says sad, sad trombone. Sad Maybe trombone. I should have done the scary one, but I did that yeah. last week. The sad, I'm the sad trombone. <laughs> Meredith has a sailor mouth. It says Zirkle NATO pants. Yeah. And this because is we're said really that, trying to make this like I don't want no, it. No, I be, said that I Meredith. That's another word for donkey, like an animal. I know. Stop. And it's it, like it's, it's easy so, to forget and make a stop, mistake, but on. yeah, we do it's, try, right? We do really we try. try. We do. All right, that uh, Dustin Hewitt says Dragon Rage is at nine thousand seven hundred seventy-five, with only two hundred twenty-five to go for the stretch goal. Yeah, and I know Jimmy. That's I'm his tired. his hope is to get to uh, ten, and the I'm really hoping he can get. Greatest there. thing I ever saw on on Kick, Kickstarter was when I got an email today for a beta test. Apply to beta test add-ons because the most difficult uh, like kudos to jimmy and his stretch goals but the hardest thing about doing a kickstarter was you want to add something on for people like hey i just bought the regular version but i want to get the hardcover version or i bought this and i want to get that and then you have to you just have them add whatever dollar value it is because you want to recharge them for shipping right. and kickstarter versus indiegogo does not allow you to keep track of that. There's no add-ons in Kickstarter. So the fact that Kickstarter is finally beta testing add-ons so that you could say, hey, I'm buying this book, but now I want to add on a t-shirt or I want to add on a signature. I want to add on an artist sketch. Yep. I think makes Kickstarter so much more viable as a tool for creators going forward because that has been seriously one of the most challenging aspects of fulfilling my own kickstarter which i have less than maybe 15 left to go yeah that's really come along now oh, which is great it's a goodness. big relief that is a huge relief mostly because i have to hear about it yeah oh yeah dave don't disturb dave Cla let's let's move let's move on to positive stuff like a super chat from claudio rogojan for four ninety nine, you know what's funny? In the X Men films, they recast Kitty Pride twice before Ellen played. Ellen Page played her. Sadly, she was barely used. Actually, and I thought Ellen Page was a great Kitty Pride. Yeah, I thought she was really good. Yeah, I, I really, she's Canadian. Oh, she's Canadian. I'm pretty sure. She in that is. case, I want to also point out that she was great in uh, Umbrella Academy. <laughs> uh, and she was great, but I know. love Ellen Page. She's Canadian, in, Umbrella, then. in Umbrella Academy, like she's kind of scary good, though. Yeah, she's very, very good. Uh, you know what? I don't like how I'm doing this. Uh, it's falling apart, Meredith. You're I don't falling have apart. Enough room for him. All right, you fall apart. I'm gonna scroll through looking for another super chat. This Bobby has a super chat for five dollars. Bobby says, "Hey, David." I just got turned on to your live streams recently. And this is my first actual live that I'm able to be a part of. Huge fan of your work. Oh, thank you very much. And thank you so much for, you know, coming and, and saying that. I appreciate it. It's great to have new people. It's, you know, great to see all the same faces back. I know I saw one Mighty R's here in the chat. And, uh, um, one might Henry be in the chat. So, um, there are all our fam favorites. The fam favorites. F A M. Kenny I didn't, Wang. I didn't see oh, Kenny Wang. Jordan's here. here. Oh, great. I didn't see. Um, um, you know, I'm going to. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I didn't see Lance Du Boye, but I haven't seen the chat for a few minutes. Okay, sorry, I'm texting right now. I'm texting horse stuff. One my ear says my birthday is September 30. I uh, don't even know what to say. I can't even. My mighty ear, I'm not reading that. I can't. Other Minds has the super chat for $17.76. Okay, good in honor of the In honor of the election, how do you draw overweight characters without them looking oddly muscular, if that makes sense? First of all, I want to just say 
good luck tomorrow. Yeah, it's scary times. Whatever happens. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Especially as Canadians. I, like, I really, I wouldn't want to weigh in we anyway. Have, it's have, not what we do no, here. This, not, but this, definitely, is, this is not a political stream. I pray for everyone. But we we pray for all of our friends yeah. in the States tomorrow for a fair and safe election process. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Where people get their voices heard. Yes. That's all I pray for. It's, I, I don't even know what to say. I think, you know, I, I agree wholeheartedly. All right. So uh, let me uh, bring this up to make sure that I'm on the screen. I'm looking at my reference here, so I can't see what I'm drawing. And uh, anyway, all right. So um, drawing heavier people and making them not look muscular is, so I'm going to draw here. I've got a regular. Uh, figure. I'm just gonna, you know, throw them in quickly. And so, to draw him heavier, what I'm gonna do is just alter the shape. So here's his shoulders. I'm just gonna go much wider through here. And you know, people get heavy in different ways. You know, like some people really just get like a, a pot belly, and some people get more of an apple shape. And so, you know, you can really play with um, caricature based on that. Um, and so I'm giving them an overall shape and I'm just making sure to go very soft with my shapes and like his, his, uh, chest is going to really, it's going to sag and have a bit of a softer kind of a thing like this. His head also, and my underlying shape, I'm going to change, you know, it's a little too tall there. I'm going to change that too. Fingers are thicker. I'll give him feet just because I can't draw feet. Or at least now I'm like so determined to say, look, I can draw feet. You can draw feet. I'm so easy to, it's, you know how easy it is oh, to get in my head? Yeah. Like I'm joking, ho ho, every said I can't draw you, feet. Meanwhile, you, I'm like, oh. Meanwhile, in your head, you're like, I got to prove I can draw <laughs> I feet. Yeah. Okay. So, and another thing to really bear in mind is you have layering. So like for the head, uh, maybe that, you know, I don't want to just, okay. For, so here's, Here's my stomach, and it, you have gravity, so it's going to be a much longer line here and then a much tighter line here, and so there will be my stomach draping over. And the same thing for the breast. It's going to be much longer and then tighter here. And so, yeah, you just want to play with those kinds of shapes. It's much softer shapes. Uh, there are artists like you know that do caricature with really angular shapes that can make this kind of thing work, too. Of course, that'll work, but... Yeah, that's pretty much my strategy. I don't really actually draw uh, musculature when it comes to it. Like, I don't draw, like, a, an arm with all the muscles. I just leave that out, and I go with much softer, broader overall shapes. That's pretty much how I approach it. Perfect. Uh, the next question comes from Fragaboom again. Dan Fraga for $1.99. Dan wants to know, how are you getting the live chat on the screen? Uh, uh, that is actually, and thank you again, Dan, you know, it's, it's great to have Dan here and, uh, um, Jimmy helped me with that. And so it's a short code or a, well, I guess not a short code. I'm thinking of website design. Um, it's a code. So you just, you take the code, Jimmy can help you with that. Uh, page one comics, he, he's doing the dragon rage thing. Um, you take the code and you just paste it. So I'm using OBS. Basically, the way that I'm doing all this. But you're using to. So let me just do a quick though. rundown. So I'm using StreamYard so I can have a guest. Uh, hopefully that will eventually work today. But And so I'm using OBS as a virtual camera. And then it just works like a webcam. I'm bringing it into StreamYard. And so in OBS, um, what I did is you just create a window uh, the same way that I, I put in windows for the other things. And then you um, bring in the chat basically from, you go to YouTube. You go to your settings in, in the thing and you you right click and you copy the link and you put the link into your, your it's got a name. Hold on. We're gonna get very technical right now. So nobody it, wants technical. I know. It's a URL. So basically uh, this is uh, I put in a window that's just a URL. I'm asleep now. I know. Okay, I'll make it quick. But anyway, and so um, and then in order to make it look nice in the, in the settings, when you open up the settings of that window, you can actually just put in, um, the, you know, code that Jimmy gave me. 
and that does that automatically. So yeah. The I, code that Jimmy hey, Tyler's gave here. You. Tyler Nova said, can't wait for a new book. Sounds epic. Thank you so much. You know what? Andrew Jeremick says, mm. Meredith, when we get the studio tour, you know what, Henry, you get the studio tour sometime in the next month because this studio will be immaculate. That's true. Because somebody's going to come in to go through this house for an open house. So this, the entire house will be immaculate. Yep. And just so you know, Dave Lance Boyer is here. He says oh, cars with guns on top are called tanks. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Here you go. I'm actually, I, I now I, I don't want to get all like, you know, this is, but I'm a little worried about um, saying that I'm drawing guns in the video because I, I know YouTube has a, like, you a real. You want to get flagged because yeah. you say the G U N. It's something that like my first video that I put up, it, I called it Killer Clowns, yeah, and that one is flag demonetized flag. to this day because I called it Killer Clowns. Right. I had no idea that that would be something that could happen, but yep. Speaking and, of which, we <laughs> did not, I don't know what everybody else did for Halloween this year. We had a lot of tears in our house because I'm sick, Isaac's sick, Dave is sick. Isaac is 12, so we did not let Isaac go trick-or-treating and for the first time ever in night, I mean, I've had my oldest is 19. So in 19 years, and I'm not going to say I didn't hand out candy before that because I did for the first time ever, we didn't turn our lights on because we're sick. I, I actually just put a note on the front door and I said, I'm sorry, we're sick. But we're not giving out candy this year. Yeah. Just in case somebody on the off chance came up to the door. I felt like a horrible person not giving out candy. Not that I could have given out candy because it was all sold out three days before Halloween here. I went to Shoppers Drug Mart. I went to Zares. I went to Walmart. We went to Canadian Tire. We couldn't have even, like, what did I, I ended up buying Isaac because he had plans for Halloween and then couldn't, go to his sleepover friend party trick-or-treating and I'm getting him full-size chocolate bars and gum for Halloween because I literally could not buy the kid candy. Yeah, he wasn't upset about that. He was upset well, about that. Well, he wasn't thrilled. Not being able to go out for well, he's Halloween. He's mostly is. not happy about missing his play date sleepover, which would have been a lot of fun. So yeah, That was too bad. So sad. So I'm sorry, you candy hoarders. It's just like toilet paper. What the heck? No, how no candy for Halloween. Tell me a year when you haven't been able to buy Halloween candy on sale after Halloween 2020. Next super chat comes from Rodrigo Bereza. Do you like how I did that? That was a good segue for 10 reals, I believe, because it's an R. Hi, David Meredith. Dave, how do you draw vanishing points outside the paper borders like the Batman cover you just showed? Kind regards from Brazil. I, well, thank you very much. Um, thank you for the super chat. The way that I do it, so I don't have my tape anywhere where I can find it. Right? Oh, it's way over there. So what I do is I just take another piece of paper. So I've got my paper here. I take another piece of paper. I just, you know, slap it kind of under, tape it down, and I find my point. I'm going to be all like way off the page where I'm pointing, but I take my point and put it where I want it, and then I use just a long ruler and draw my lines out that way. And... Then, you know, for the other side, if it's a two-point perspective, I'll put the other point here. If it's a three-point, which the Batman was, uh, the last point was above. And so that's how I do it. I just use a piece of paper. I do, like, the Batman cover, actually, I have to admit, the... Okay. So this angle, right there, so yeah, this angle here it? was too flat. The point would have been a million miles out. I don't have a ruler that long. There have been times in the past where I've actually taped two rulers together, like the big, long... Yeah, I just I faked it, to be honest. So it's not perfect. You could actually, you know, if you found a point to this, it would not connect properly. So I, I just kind of, you know, faked it as well as I could, which I don't like doing. I like it to be correct. Like, so these ones are all correct. This is all correct. This one is faked. Um, generally, I don't have to do that, but it happens, and it happened with this one. So, yeah, that's that's how I do it. It's yeah, it's like the the stuff you go through. I keep knocking my camera. The stuff you go send through. That out tomorrow, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't, um, don't let me leave that down here. Okay. Garbage and the cover tonight. And the cover. Don't let me forget. Stuff you go through when you draw on paper. I'm actually going to be doing um, some digital stuff soon. All right. My next super chat comes from Greg L for $2. Greg says, hey, guys, sorry, because funds can't super chat tonight. 
Greg, don't you worry. Don't feel sad. Yeah, not at all. It's just good to have you here. Yeah, it's good to have people watching and participating. It's not like I don't always read the super chats. Like, for example, Mike Stewart saying Meredith for president. And you know I would run if I lived in the States because Meredith rules the world. Oh, well, he thinks things couldn't be worse. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, they could be. Meredith could be in charge. Oh, dear. Sorry. Eric promoting Davis full length tutorial courses on his new website. Check it out. David Oh, thank you, Eric. All right. I feel like I'm missing a super chat. I'm looking, 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 looking. There it is. One, there's a super chat for $20 from Charlie Parks. Thank you so much, Charlie. Your disposition and how nurturing you are to fellow artists is very special and says a ton about uh -huh. you as a person working my butt off lately to get to the level I want to be at. And your stream is integral. P.S. Draw Gambit. <laughs> okay. And thank you very much, Charlie. So nice. You know what, yeah. Charlie? Hey, Jazz Singh is here. I just saw. You're not and wrong. And Lang is here. You're not I, wrong. David, you're the nicest I, person ever. All right, all right. You are, though. <sighs> okay, that's great. I mean, I'm not. I don't even pretend to be. Okay, I'll agree with you there. But you are, right? But you Yeah, but are, uh, look, I'll say this. Person. You know me more like you see me every day i'm not always so nice like i i have you know times everybody has bad days but as a general rule like okay here's what i would say would you agree that isaac is like our son isaac is the sweetest person you've ever met in your entire life uh yes. he can be right like he he's got like be. that's not that's naturally his personality is to be sweet and loving and kind yes. right yeah absolutely yeah he did not get that from me. <laughs> right. Right? Because you've met the child that got his personality from me. And that would be Everett. Yeah. And look, Everett's great too. Everett's great. It's a different personality. But and it's you know a what? totally different personality. I married you for your personality. So uh, look, you know. There's like a type A personality. Lesson learned. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to be so nice and say happy birthday to Ryan Howell. His birthday is tomorrow. Prove you wrong. <laughs> there you go. Our Jenny wants to know if we saw the Mandalorian season two premiere. We've not. Oh, it's out. No, you know why? You know why we've not watched it? Why not? Because they're only doing one episode a week. Oh yeah, so we'll just wait. We're gonna wait. We did that last time too. Nobody wants to watch one episode a week. If I wanted to watch one episode a week, I'd watch TV. I don't watch TV anymore. Sure, you do. You were watching Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, but I save it. Like, I watch a couple episodes at a time. I forget about it deliberately on purpose. That show is so painful. Well, this, I'm not going to, no, we're not going to get into a whole dance with the stars discourse on the comic book stream of Monday, like, Monday Night Draw. But, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I couldn't even talk tonight. <laughs> All right. So, no, Art Jedi, though. Did you get your piece of art, Art Jedi? That's what I want to know. Should be there. Oh, wait. Uh, sorry, I should have kept reading. It was epic. Also, the commission arrived on time, and it looks even better in person. Thank you once again. So, Arjuna got his Okay, great. I'm start. glad. That's great. Perfect. Lance Boyer says, have no fear. I is here. <laughs> no politics in the chat, says Eric Grove. Yeah, no. I mean, I know things are so divisive right now, and it really, it's a, it's a real shame. But, I mean, we're here. For comics and the, the, we all regardless have um i think so many things that we can agree on it's a shame that we anyway michael eman said is meredith your model for kitty is meredith coming through the floor <laughs> meredith might be crazy but meredith is not coming through the floor although somebody you know what so nice for inktober i showed dave somebody on instagram tagged me in a post that they drew of Dave and I. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That and was great. you know what? It was pretty good. It was. It really was. I want to find it because my reference up here. Hold wait on. a second. Let me find him. Where's the picture of the two of us? It was recently, too. Here it is. Han Lugan Art. H O N L E U G L E U N G Art. It's personal choice, so I decided to draw Dave Finch Artisan at Finch Marathon. 
well. And it was great. See, you should have emailed me that so I could put it up here. I should have. I can still. I don't know if I can. What still. we need to do every week, and this is like a hey, we've got a lot of things to do every week. But can, you know, because I I created a folder actually. Oh, did the you? The last thing I want to do is be like looking through a million folders trying to find things. So you've go, got a Monday night draw folder, right? Like I have a Monday night commission folder for when I scan everything. See, there you go. So I need a Monday night draw, and then you can just send me that stuff if there's something cool. It was so much fun. He did such a cute job. Yeah, he did. He drew me thinner too, which you know I'm all for. <laughs> hey, we set a goal. Spring. We did actually, yeah. Because Mary, so I got all the these closet. nice. I, I got all these nice closet. dress pants and all this stuff, and I fit into zero of it. So, uh, yeah, the goal is to get back into my pants by spring, and I think that's that's a good amount of time. I'm doing great so far. I mean, you know, I haven't had donuts for like a whole day. So. Really? <laughs> no, I haven't had donuts for. Is but, that is that the is that the standard we're setting right now? Uh, well, look, you gotta have it somewhere. Oh know. my gosh, I feel like I'm losing the chat right now. I don't know if this is the next super chat or not. Hollow Hollow Mangin Boo You Two has a super chat for five dollars. I bet you can't draw Ghost Rider. I bet you that's a very easy name to say. That's yeah, that, didn't that sound that way? It's not. It's not. Trust me. No, I bet you that that was like totally easy. And right. Just... H O Hollow Man. Hollow was easy. M A J I N B U U two. How would you say that? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. And so, what was the? Did, I bet you can't draw Ghost Rider. I bet you're right, Allison. I bet you can't draw Ghost Rider. Yeah, that's a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. That's like challenge accepted. No, I know that's like totally reverse psychology. Allison that Leblon totally works on me though. Has a super chat for four ninety nine. Hey, David Merritt, hope you're doing good. Dave, do you plan on doing tutorials about page layouts? Uh, yes, I have uh, something a big thing coming up about uh, page layouts. It's a, it's going to cover uh, um, layout from you know basically concepts of of. Um, composition and just how to block in quickly a page and just do a little thumbnail and then all the way through to a finished page with inks, the whole works. I have that coming uh, fairly soon. So uh, definitely look forward to that. I got to do the super chats because I feel like I'm neglecting them tonight because I'm I'm sick and my brain's not working well. Michael Johnson, Kurt, and then Frank. Oh, hold on. Frank's calling. Mute my mic. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, mute, uh, hold Hello, on. Frank. There. Did you figure it out? Frank? Frank? Now the phone's not working either. Hello? Switch on back. Okay. The problem is that you start talking to him and then I just go quiet because I'm listening to you. I know. <laughs> so it's Don't like... do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I do yeah, hope this works out. You ready? Oh, he's ready. Right. Okay. Is sound working? All right. We're going to. Are you in? All right. Okay, let the, me get uh, back into my window. Oh, I see him there. Add to stream. Can I hear you? Please work. I don't, know. I don't hear anything yet. Talk to him. Add him into the no, stream. No, I don't hear it yet. Oh. Add him into the stream. He just... You know, he's in the stream. I added him. Frank, are you there? We can't hear you. How about now? How about now? Oh, yay! There we go. There we go. All right, I'm going to turn down this so I don't get an echo. Just a little bit. Hopefully that'll do it. All right. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Frank. Let me uh, move this just a little bit too, so I can see you. Um, yeah, it's it's great to have you. I, I know it was, uh, uh, I mentioned this like, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago. And then of course, like today I, I emailed a couple hours before. So I really appreciate you taking the time and coming on. Oh, no problem. Yeah, actually I, I had to go dig up another microphone because the cam mic died or something. So. I found an old USB mic and able to hook it up. And then so now I'm got sound. So that's great. Yeah, I can see the cat in the background. Uh, <laughs> Lying on the floor yeah. like our cats. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the first question I had for you, you and I wrote down questions. The predator mouth open. It's kind of dark. I can't. Hang on. Let's see if I can turn some light. There's two of them. There's one right there. And oh, yeah. There. Oh, wow. Crazy. That's yeah, definitely a lot cooler collection than mine, which uh, Wait, apparently I'm, I'm going to be doing a... Your collection sucks, but it does. we'll clean it up. We'll <laughs> dust it off and Marathon will arrange it in a in a 
a nice way so that people can look at it. Yeah. So Frank, you've been working in comics now for I know for as me long it's as been Dave, yeah really, I think it's been twenty seven years for me twenty five yeah twenty five okay so I, I got you beat by two years yeah so what was your start how'd you get in uh, doing guides uh, basically at Malibu back in ninety five uh, when guides were still viable um, Chido was the best in the game and you know everybody yeah. you know before you could actually just digitally color they wanted everybody to just submit with uh guides and then submit them to the color separators so you do everything pencil marker on black and white pieces of paper and you know for getting your leg in the door it was even during the heydays back then you got paid scraps i think my <laughs> uh, my page rate even in the heyday uh, was 15 dollars a page for guides and, wow uh, i got a five dollar on time bonus <laughs> if i got it wow how long did it take to do a guide you tried to crank so i tried to do it in like about an hour and a half so they weren't super pretty but you can kind of get the yeah. idea of what i was trying to accomplish um, i remember that's how they were doing it at top cow when i started everything was all on paper all done with markers and i don't really yeah. remember like, the day that that kind of ended but you know yeah, yeah that's what it did because i mean it was it, a lot of things get lost in trans translation from what you want to accomplish my cats everywhere um from what <laughs> you want you know you what you want to put on the page and again time constraints to what you can actually do and then when you realize how much you're getting paid versus you know being able to get a regular job that pays even better so it's it's a lot oh. of sacrifice and i mean i had a lot of uh 36 hour shifts that you know you have to just stay up all night and, oh yeah and dave that's so low. Turn up, turn up, Mike. Can you can Frank turn up his volume? It, it, Meredith is asking if you can turn it up just a little bit. You're a little quiet, and I don't actually have control over that here. Uh, I let me see. I can move the mic closer. Is that any better? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay, yeah, because this this mic again, uh, last minute. Uh, I I don't do a lot of social media or any of this on. Camera. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad this worked out. And this is where now my first. Uh, time I, I came on look this has been a few months for me now but yeah when i first started we did like a pre before the show set up and i really should have done that i'm so next time <laughs> next time i'll do it that way but uh yeah so when you started did you just get work and you were just rolling or did you go through periods where you weren't getting anything for a while or well actually the, um, when i first started at malibu things were pretty solid for a while um i mean it got really crazy and then i think right at that time is when um marvel bought malibu is just a color house so um they yeah. were basically uh turning them into like uh which turned into ireland i think and that was doing all the color stuff for marvel for a long time um so basically malibu ceased to exist as an entity and then just became a giant color house for marvel but i mean it's yeah, pretty remember. steady um and then i mean i started getting some work at some independence back then like acclaim uh when they had comics and a few smaller press deals but you know and then i i left for a while too then came back so i mean that was you know one of the things that you know i kind of needed to get my head right so yeah um, yeah well and uh, i think we met um around was it 99 or so yeah because I mean, we met because you know when you used to live with steve back in la and yeah me and steve were working together before that steve was kind of mentoring me okay so, so that would have been more like 97 even i think yeah okay when you had the old you guys had the old department on wellesley and yeah and it was there. meticulously clean and then you got to my it was uh, meredith you would <laughs> well you can imagine i'm nowhere near as bad now yeah it was a sea of just junk it was the all worst. i know i don't is my microphone working yep yeah I all i know it. is you telling me about some tower of beer cans that was a, a previous one and oh. that was not me i had friends down from canada they came to visit and sure you know, I was... blame the canadians <laughs> it's the truth blame so canada. I, was at, I was at working south park song they were partying and they built i came back and it was literally a day i came back and they had a tower of beer cans all the way up to the ceiling so yeah they had fun they yeah. had a good time. low abv we've got to drink more beer so <laughs> you know the u.s is like 3.4 percent so well, yeah, in Canada, most of the beer comes in. Certainly, when I was growing up, it all came in little stubby bottles. Yep. Oh yeah, should, like, and, yeah, yeah. The shorties. In, and in the states, apparently, it came. Long necks. 
yeah. long necks and cans that Dave, between bottles of beer and pop and pizza boxes, could have built a house. Yeah, I didn't even drink beer. So, the, again, beer was you, not mine. You did eat a lot of pizza. I did eat a lot of pizza. And I, I did drink beer just probably, you know, once a month. Like, it's not and exactly. right around the corner from uh, you guys where you used to live was, uh, I think, that Yoshinoya used to yep. be there, the, the noodle place. Yeah. Yeah. I miss it and I don't, you know? Yeah. I mean, there were things I really liked about California, but the cost of living definitely wasn't one of them. Uh, and the traffic. Yeah. I mean, when I when I worked at Stan Lee, I, would, um, I lived literally a little over a mile uh, from the studio. And it would take me almost 15 minutes every day to get to work going one mile down Ventura Boulevard. So it was like, <laughs> it was just, you know, a nightmare. Yeah. Um, and then I, you know, the places for the first two months, I actually couldn't move financially. I just couldn't relocate to the Valley. And I was living in Orange County near uh, Matt and Sharon Scott when they were doing Liar. And um, so when I finally had the, you know, I was actually driving into work 70 miles each way. So I was coming in from Mission Viejo into uh, Ventura every day for two months. Wow. I was like, that got old really fast. So it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would be enough of that pretty quick, especially through LA. Yeah. Wow. yeah. So, in terms of uh, business, how have things changed? You know, since then, I I know you were at Marvel. We worked together at Marvel for years. You know, yeah. from Dave um, has had a, been in a relationship with Frank longer than he's been in a relationship with me. Absolutely yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, I remember when you guys first started dating. Uh, yep. Dave would just come down to Houston to see me, and then right after that. It wasn't very long after that, I think, um, you guys met and started dating. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, I, that was just, a, and it, that was for Dave, a huge dynamic change. So, I mean. Uh, it was, yeah, it sure was. That was an adjustment. <laughs> and with kids. Anything is an adjustment, man, because Dave, um, it's a hit. he was, uh, God, what, I can't remember what year you came down. So, we did the signing at Bedrock. And yep. then uh, we hung out at in Dallas. And I'm trying, where did we have? There was one of the shows we did dinner, and it was like um, maybe in Dallas with Jim Lee and Michael Turner and everybody. Was that 2005? Was that the year you been. met me? I don't know. Because I think it might have been. Because I think you just met Meredith or something. So that okay. might have been the year because Mike was still around. And yeah. Um, Five or six, then. Giuseppe, it was you, Giuseppe Cumincoli, uh, uh, me, you, a bunch of people. So it was a big show. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. To be honest, I've, I've done so many conventions by now. Jim and... was forcing tequila down everybody's throats because Jim wouldn't like let up on the tequila shots. <laughs> but it probably was like 2005 or six because there was a period of time, Dave, you were doing conventions where I was not going with you. Yeah, and I would go out and party all night. Yeah. And yeah. I never You'd do that call anymore. Me but... From like, the floor of your hotel room. I'd yeah. call you in the morning going, what are you doing? You're like, I'm on the floor. Yeah, it's true. So I yeah. didn't make it. I didn't make it in the hotel room until like five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, That's well, when that's I started that. going to conventions, actually. When I started yeah. getting stories like that. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I got away with it back night in one San time. Diego. Um, I was, I was, we, it was me, at, uh, Brandon Peterson and Dave, and we were at one of the, um, was it Dick? I think it was Dick's last stand at, at, and the uh, gas lamp. We were all out drinking. And that's the night that I actually ended up, I think, passing out. Uh, I was sharing a room with Matt and Sharon Scott, and I was running yep. a bath, and I passed out naked on the bathroom floor. So they, they had to come into the bathroom, finding me just sprawled out everywhere after a heavy <laughs> night of drinking with Dave. <laughs> You realize we're live right now, right? <laughs> that's okay. This is stuff what, you're saying, almost, what you're saying is I broke up the ago, boy band. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. So would you say things are, are really different nowadays from how they were back then? Or? Like, do you oh, yeah, color definitely. Frank, do you color differently now versus how you colored Dave 15 years ago? Oh, definitely. I mean, um, there are leaps and bounds. I've made changes to different things. And, um, you know, I'm, I, I like my art better now than I did back then. Um, so I'm, I'm usually getting better results with what I, what I, I do now. Um, but again, it's, 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 this industry now is so competitive and there's, no, there's, you know, with the, the workloads, there's not a, a lot to go around anymore. I mean, the market's really tight. Um, and there's, you know, 
so many people that want to break in and trying to just keep a job and you know globalization's another thing that you know I, i'm i'm glad it happened yeah. because it expands you know be able to creatively outreach to other people in different countries but you know it, it does hurt sometimes when other people can do the job that you can do for a lot less um they're yeah. but they're super talented people so it's like i love seeing their art but you know yeah. at the same token it's like you know i'm making less now than I'm, you know i've done other times so but i mean yeah. it's it's still fun so i guess i'll still keep doing it as long as i enjoy it um and it can still make a decent living so so uh, frank you- i should wait a second frank i need to let you know, don't worry about your cat because yours is quiet <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, ours no, comes down during the stream every freaking week <laughs> and starts meowing at the top of her lungs Row, row. and she's she's a feature on the show your cat the tail might have gone back and forth across your face but be aware your cat never said a word oh he's she just there. Super- well, i'm working all day long they i have a uh, two beds around here so we have a converted garage that i actually <laughs> use this is my office space and then so inside the main house we have um two dogs that are both over 70 pounds and then another cat inside there so Oh, our- so your house is like our house. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like what we're dealing with. Yeah, and you do uh, it by choice. That's kids, a crazy thing. Got, you know, a bunch of animals. So, yeah. But yeah, I mean, definitely the industry has changed. I mean, some of it's for the better. Um, you know, everybody wishes we could go back, especially the artists, wish we could go back to the heydays of getting paid tons and tons and tons of money. But unfortunately, I don't think that's ever gonna. Um, you know happen again it's it's uh so uh, frank tight yeah if you keep working frank i have a question for you if you were to say the single biggest difference in terms of how you work digitally 15 years ago versus how you work now what is it um well i finally upgraded from photoshop 5.5 last year <laughs> so i literally was working had my system running xp up until last year when i took the dive and finally went into windows 10. wow um, so i mean at least now i can have brushes that go over 999 pixels um and then there's you know a lot more brushes in the brush engine that i can use that i never got to use before um but yeah, definitely. Um, I'm trying. I'll try to. Someone else can't hear me, so I'm to put the mic like right in my mouth and I'm not trying. Yeah, to that was louder. Like with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, definitely my approach is different, and I'm still pretty old school because I don't use a uh, drawing t- like a uh, a drawing monitor. So really? I still use a traditional tablet. You know, it's just touch sensitive, like an Intuos four. But I don't use any of the, uh, you know, the, the draw directly tablets or anything. That's crazy it shows you just how much you know it, it's not the tools it's uh what you do with it and the color choices and excuse me and form and you know yeah wow well again i'm i'm an you know an, i'm an old guy in the industry i mean you're only six six months younger than i am so you know at the same point frank i would say that i think your style has because you tend to have a more I don't want to say monochromatic, but you, like your style has a very, it's not overly poppy. And well, I find that that tends, that is heavily influenced the kinds of color palettes of the new, more trendy colors that well, I and, see. Because we've talked about this before. It's we not have. monochromatic. What it is, no, it's but, focus of light. Yes, it's focus of light. Focus and of thank light you, and focus thank of Thank you for putting the art term for it. Because I'm not, I'm not an artist, but you, you know what I'm saying, right? Like I feel like Frank's style, the way that he colors, has had a significant impact on some of the more modern colorists that tend to get maybe a little more. Um, well, it's it's the best way to stay uh, up to date is right? to have all the young guys copy you. Yeah. Well, again, I mean, it depends on. I mean, I I still go through a lot. I mean, when I was working on the covers that me and Dave did last week where editors, you know, weighed in, you know, there's everybody, you know, has a different take on what they want. So I can, you know, I'll, I'll give them what I think that they want or what I think that I like. Um, and then it's ultimately it's up to the editorial to come back and say, you know, it's going to float or not. And then, 
Um, like today I had another cover um, that I had to do where it's a, I guess it's a specialty cover for a retailer variant. Um, and there were some things going back and forth where editorial sent me a certain reference for the classic X of swords characters. And I guess what they're supposed to look like, but the, um, this version has more like the 80s style costumes for the characters like Gambit and the purple top and the blue and yellow Wolverine. So I'm, you know, I'm like, I don't know. Um, so by the time I get the first round of corrections, then it's like, no, this is this. And then I get the next round of corrections. No, this is this. And then it's like, no, we should have gone back to the other way. And so I'm like, <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah. I've been, in these, like, I've been in those email chains. So I've seen, yeah. I've seen that process. It's amazing how, uh, patient you are with that because I know because right, I think as a colorist you get a lot more corrections in general yeah and than, I'm, I'm happy with it from uh, from uh, the start and right. I have to say and we were talking about this earlier today but uh, generally speaking you know I look at the first one before all the suggestions and then the last one and I'm like you know I think they both look great like I, I not my place because you know editors know what they're doing and they know what they're looking for and but okay. you know I well, do no, think like, the thing so I, I have a I have Go a ahead. question for you, Frank, from one of the, the people on the stream. Sure. Jermaye says, Jermaye J says, David, can you ask him his favorite artists? So who are your favorite artists, Frank? Well, Dave is and one of them. You don't have to say Dave. Uh, I don't have to, but you know, Dave is somebody that, you know, I, I, you know, even though we don't work on a regular title together, it's still when Dave does a cover, if it's through Marvel, usually they ask me to do it. And, you know, I try to fit it in and make sure it happens. I mean, and I mean, I work with Greg a lot. So Greg Land's another artist. Uh, it's people that I get comfortable with that, you know, give me mostly give me a little bit of leeway to, you know, kind of do what I like to do. And I don't know. It's uh, it's it's uh, it's it's mostly about the attitude of the person that I'm working with. I mean, I like the the art style too. But again, it, it's the people that I work with. If if I work with somebody and they're just really like psychologically draining it it's like you really, you look at that <laughs> it's a great way to put it i was gonna say so clearly <laughs> i was gonna ask if some artists have more input into their artwork than others but apparently the answer to that question is yes jordan seward says frank dear mata your colors are the mosey palatable in the industry uh i think it must be yeah, most palatable probably a typo, yeah what he's saying is he loves you frank uh, I mean, I, I definitely appreciate the, the, the comment. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, like the people that I work with, like uh, Pere Perez is another great artist that I work with on Spider-Woman. He's been really, really fun to work with. Um, there's just a slew. I mean, I've worked with so many um, over all, such a long time. And, you know, there's people that I wish I could go back and work with again, like, I think I saw somebody talk about Mark Silvestri. It's like, yeah, I just saw. Yeah, that's uh, Mike Stewart. Yeah, it says, can you ask Frankie about his work for Silvestri? Wasn't he Mark's go to colors for a while? Yeah, for a while. I mean, he was doing stuff at Marvel during like the extermination crisis or something like that. Um, yeah, which I is mean, beautiful were, stuff. I mean, Mark's a super nice guy. He's been really nice to me. And most of the guys at the Cal have all been great to me. Um, I mean, I'd love to work with Mark again, but, you know, Mark's got his, his guys that he uses now at the Cal. So, unless he does something for us it's you know it goes to the whole thing of you know everybody else who's open who can take it and who mark wants ultimately so i mean at least now with the illustrators they're able to kind of pick and choose and you know let let editorial know who they really want to work with and editorial is usually pretty good about trying to make it happen oh yeah they really are they they work very hard to you know keep people happy and and, you know, uh, so many times the, the the look of the art, I think if you're looking, I know for me, if I'm looking at somebody else's art, now color is different, truthfully, but a lot of times with, with different inkers, if they're both great inkers, I'll like both of them. But, you know, as a penciler, you really have a preference because it yeah. just gets across, which, and part of my preference, I know with Danny Mickey, uh, first of all, he's phenomenal, you know, mm -hmm. but also I got so used to, he, he had a, a bit of a heavy hand sometimes, but I really liked it. And it, I felt like it became kind of part of the look that we were doing, you know? Yeah. So I mean for for a good long stretch, yeah, it did. I mean, uh you were you were working with Danny for close to what, seven, eight years? Um a long time. Yeah, yeah. It Marvel was Marvel stuff and then DC stuff he was doing over you for a while there too. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I miss him. Yeah. I mean, I've been very lucky to work with some very good inkers and 
and uh, some very good colorists. Frank being by far and away the best. Of course. Say that. So, eh, still, Steve's my favorite. So I mean, yeah, um, okay, you know, and okay, yeah. There's, there's Steve. Too. So <laughs> well, he's this is where I'm like, you know, he was yeah, my Steve main really inspiration. Good. So he's absolutely great. He's mostly working in games now. Yeah. So he's still like a conceptual designer. Yeah, yeah. He did a couple of covers uh, over me at DC. Just you know, just lately, actually, uh, I was doing deceased covers. I just finished. I finished right. Deceased. Mm, no, no, you're not done. You got one more. One more deceased. Yep. Number seven. Okay. Well, no, one no, more. sorry, I'm wrong. The deceased covers you're done. One more death metal cover. One mother. One more death metal cover. Right. Yes. So yeah, but. Uh, <sighs> so yeah, I crossed two things off the list today. And that was? That was pages, not covers. Anyway. I don't know what we're talking about. Don't leave Frank. Don't leave Frank hanging. (laughs) So, Frank, uh, you you want to ask Frank another question, and then we'll let Frank get on with his night. He's he's devoted far too much time to you. You hear me trying to ask Tomorrow, I'm actually doing the Red Sonia piece. So. Yeah, I cannot wait. We're actually going to be showing that. uh, And I I was telling Frank today, too, you know, I was telling you that I, I really. I guess threw under the bus is not the right word, but put you in a crappy position without asking because I was talking to Nick and I said, oh yeah, Frank, you know, he he turns around things pretty quick too. He's really, he's great that way. So if you give to him, he'll have it in like the next day. And of course I didn't call Frank and say, uh, you know, what's your schedule like that you could actually do that. So I'm very grateful that you could fit it in. Yeah. Luckily, I mean, my, I have a little bit of loose space on my deadline for spider woman. So, I mean, I had another cover crisis this morning and then actually just got another kind of cool commission um, today. I haven't colored Superman in probably 20 years. So it's it's like a Superman commission. So I'm kind of nervous because it's all that the those primary blues, reds and yellows. And it's like it's not just him. There's multiple iterations in the background between supergirl superman like animated oh and, yeah so i'm like okay this is gonna be really really challenging so that's the job yeah, yeah. so what are you working on now that you want to you know talk about and let people know to look out for uh symbiote spider-man is the uh the third arc now um just doing just getting ready to start issue four of that uh, I'm still working on the new Iron Man series with um, Kafu uh, and uh, I forget the writer. Charles, it's um, Charles. Hang on one second. Let me go to my. When you say uh, Charles, I'm thinking Charles Soul. No, I yeah, know. I remember from Moon Knight. Um, or Charlie Houston. Charlie Houston hasn't worked in comics for a oh, while. Oh, yeah, Charlie Houston. Houston. That's who I'm thinking of. Charles Soul to you. But um, he's another uh, Hollywood guy that's been writing a bunch of stuff. Um, so this is like the relaunch, relaunch of Iron Man after I think Tony Stark's gone through the fortune or he's lost all his money. So oh, like yeah. Okay. Him and Black Cat and uh, there's a bunch of like classic villains from the uh, 60s and 70s that are kind of coming back in. And then the Spider-Woman, uh, we're getting into issue nine now. So it keeps Great. extending because I think we were going to do originally a mini series and it was going to go to 12 issues. And I think it's just been extended again. So we're going to be, it's it's turning into an ongoing series, which has been great. And it, it, it's apparently been doing really well as a whole. So, I mean, most of the team, and that's uh, Carla Pacheco, who has been really great on that too. And Pere right. and. Um... All right. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, leave me alone. He's like. The <laughs> well, the cat can have you back. We're going to get back to the drawing. Thank you so much, Frank, for coming. And thanks for, you know, working with the sound. And Thanks, Frank. You're the oh, best no for persisting. You get the Persistence Award <laughs> this year for 2020. Uh, well, whatever. Uh, this, this dumpster That's fire. Why we love you. Uh, That's why we love you. That's why we love you. We'll bring a, you know, nice world around, but we'll see how things go with, uh, hopefully it'll be a peaceful day tomorrow. At, with all that's, the yeah, that's what we all hope for. For sure. So, yeah. Just as long as people can be tolerant and, you know, and then again, it happened today in Vienna too. So hopefully, you know, there's some resolution with that. I don't even know. Oh, there was a, a shooting like a. Um, no, we're not. Up. We just want uh, well, peace and positivity. Yeah. 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 yeah so everybody right. be tolerant. You know, this year is hopefully almost over. Um, Good luck. We're going to have a great Christmas. 
I hope so. Um, it's going to be I a good Christmas season. Sleeping in. I got a fried turkey order for Thanksgiving. So, Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. thanks again, Frank. I'll see you guys. I'll talk to you soon. And tomorrow I'll have that cover for you. And well, I'm sure I'll talk to you tomorrow then. Yeah. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. That was my last thing on my list was thank you to Frank and an apology to him. Yeah, how great was that? that was great. He's so nice yeah. to come on. We love Frank. He's so sweet. I love Frank. Yeah, me too. If you're watching, Frank, we love you. Frank DeMar De Armada. And I did save all the super chats that my screen is rebooted. And meanwhile, again, I keep saying I'm a terrible interview person. I totally didn't really introduce him. I was like, Frank DeArmada's here. I know. Frank De <laughs> you you gotta be better with that. Yeah. So, but anyway, long time Marvel cover, uh, colorist, amazing colorist. My, my friend will work on that for next week. My friend. Yeah. And we, we did, um, uh, Avengers disassembled and new Avengers Moon together. Night. Moon Knight, uh, a ton of stuff over yeah. at Marvel. Yeah. So X-Men. Yeah. No, I, you don't have to tell me what you've done with Frank. Yeah. I remember I the know. first page you did over me. Like yeah. I said, he's been in your a relationship with you longer than me. Yep. So, all right. I'm going to just jump into Super Chats, Dave, because okay. we've got a few backed up. Oh, Michael, uh, uh, okay. Sorry. Oh, but, it is Book of the Week time, too. You know what? We're going to put that off, and we'll do that. Just do Book of the Week now, and then I'll do you, Super Chats, because it's already 10 after 9. Do you not have a Book of the Week? I do. Okay, Are you sleeping? On. No, no. I've got a Book of the Week. Did you fall asleep this afternoon, and okay. you didn't have a Book of the Week ready to go? Because I don't have any backed up Super Chats. I mean, I record all the backed up Super Chats. <laughs> okay, so. so here's our Book of the Week. And this one is Excalibur by alan davis i got actually i've got a, a collection of these these are all just collections of the original book the originals that i had um were my sisters so i had to give them back years and years ago and then i bought them again myself i've got them all in boxes in the closet over there but oh, trying i'm to gonna interrupt you books ryan l line has a great idea for next time show some of his work before you bring them in that would be production quality that would be. Ah, yeah. Thank you for that suggestion. That Thanks, Ryan. That. Thank. Or Look at no, how great. Not Ryan. Ronald. 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 Oh, I'm. Okay, I have to so go to bed. This is. I'm uh, sick. So, <laughs> this is Alan Davis. This is his Excalibur stuff. This is really a lot of the work that that got me into comics. I remember um, it was coming out. Well, I got in in '94. I started really drawing seriously in in '90. Two, so I think this book here came out just before I really started, you know, really getting into it. And I remember borrowing all these from my sister. And uh, his style is just so incredibly fluid. And he, he draws great action, great anatomy, and also, you know, really great scenes of people just doing everyday things. He's just such a well-rounded artist. Another thing, and it's not a skill that I have at all, and I really respected him, is he's really good at... Uh, differentiating his faces you know his women's faces aren't all the same face and uh like megan has a very different face from uh phoenix and you know shadow cat they're all you know really individual that way uh his men are the same way and that's that's such a tough thing to pull off unless you're just using reference which he's not doing here and crazy very english he's an english artist and his designs like oh these are all his designs and they're just bananas like it's crazy looking stuff but yeah, just beautiful figures. And I think this style actually will look a lot more familiar to a lot of you. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this stuff, but this is so influential on the current uh, art that's coming out. Like uh, Ivan Rice is very, very influenced uh, by Alan Davis. And so is uh, Brian Hitch. He is very influenced. A lot, of, uh, a lot of artists working now are, you know, really, really owe a lot to... To this work and so do i i think it's a little less obvious for me just because I, I went you know i had such a huge mark Silvestri influence and i was going more the image kind of a route but so much of my anatomy and this is what i want to find before i close the book and move on but my chest construction stomach construction all this stuff is really a lot of it is from alan davis and you can see like the rib cage here on her and i've gotten so much just from you know from this stuff so uh, anyway, yeah, I highly recommend it. It's really beautiful, beautiful stuff. Beautifully lit. Uh, yeah, he's just, he's a great artist. I, I, as much as I love this book, it's not even my favorite one. There are other, the first one, there, are, anyway, it's all great stuff. So, yeah, check out the stomach. All right. And now he's all, you know, 
he's growing like a maniac and it's got a story thing that's going on with it, but it just really beautifully um, put together. All right. Thank you. There's Alan Davis. This is uh, Excalibur Marvel visionaries. Um, I'm sure you can buy this on Amazon right now. And I, that's how I bought it. You can buy Highly it. recommend it. Buys everything on Amazon. I do. Well, it's an easy way to go. It's true. Okay. I'm trying to get on Amazon. You're trying to get out of Amazon. No, I'm trying to get on Amazon okay. to sell stuff. And now before you do another super chat, I want to mention that I'm actually using my sable brush. This is the one it's that one Greg has been asking constantly for. and I keep forgetting every week, Greg, I'm using it. You I got can't it all super chat, but he's got his brush. My fingers, you can see I've got like ink still in there. I've washed them after it, it was such a mess getting this thing filled, but got it yeah. up and running. And, you know, I have to say thank you because it's actually working. Look, it's a sable tip. It's a more sensitive brush. It's really nice and it's uh waterproof i'm using uh, the ink that i'm using is actually i'll show you don't get up people might see me and i'm sick okay <laughs> it is nobody uh, wants a Meredith sighting tonight a black india rapidograph ultra draw waterproof for paper and film uh ink and uh it's good stuff because it really flows well so it won't gum things up so that's that's what i'm using all right all right, I'm going to start reading Super Chats. And okay. I want everybody to know that while we were chatting with Frank, I saved the Super Chats that were back chatted. Is that, is that a word, back chatted? Uh, everybody knows what it you It is mean. now. The art of Wade King has a Super Chat for $5. Wanted to say thank you. Been using these streams as study, as study material. Stop. I recently just started doing art professionally and just want to say thanks. Oh, wow. It's great to hear. Congratulations. Yeah. And thank you very much. Thanks for, you know, the super chat. And, and it's, I mean, that's a goal for, uh, you know, uh, this could just be a hobby, which I think, is, and it's a great hobby, but for so many of us, it's the goal is to be getting work and getting work out there and, you know, um, in front of an audience. And so yeah. it's always really nice to see that that's happening for people. Next super chat comes from Claudio, Claudio, Claudio Rogan, Rogan Jan. I feel like I'm saying Claudio, but it's Claudio. It's not Claudio, it's Claudio. Uh, for 499, was it hard to draw ultimate killing all those characters off in such gory ways, especially Wasp? Uh, yeah, you know, look. I was so sad when it happened. I love the ultimate universe. Yeah, so was I. And I actually designed uh, a couple of those characters. And so, yeah, like, it was very uh, upsetting. What like, was Dazzler. the character? Dazzler, yeah, that, was, that sucked. Um, and yeah, I, I was sad and I didn't even know you when you designed us. I know I got into Marvel with uh, the ultimate universe and it was really, you know, I love that stuff. And it was, it, I was very torn because it's not what I would have chosen to be honest. You know, I would not have wanted it and seeing them go out that way. And, you know, it was, it was tough, but at the same time, um, It was a very kinetic story. I got to do a lot of cool visual stuff. I had a good time on it. Uh, I drew the, you know, especially the page with the wasp. And uh, you got to work with cool writers too. What was tough? The the wasp page because that's really that the most tough. infamous one. Um, I really, actually, generally speaking, I'd use some discretion. I would just do it with shadow. So it's like, yeah, I, I don't that want one to. You couldn't. I couldn't because it was a splash page. There was no way, and it, because it was such a sp specific thing requested in the script, yeah, I did not have can't pretend it's the not leeway happening. to just say, you know what, I'm going to take that and not make it a splash page. So I just decided, okay, if, I, if we're doing this, we're doing it. Here's and, what we're doing. And I did, and you know, it's, it's a book Jeff that Loeb, that wasn't Jeff Loeb. That, was that yeah, Jeff that was, Loeb? no, that was Jeff Loeb. Yeah. Yeah, he was, yeah. he was really going with it. Yeah, he just flew ho whole hog into, hog into that. All right, I'm back chatting now because that's my new word. And yes, one mighty R, that is my new word, back chatted. Michael Johnson Curry, 499. Hey, Michael Johnson Curry's here. Michael, so it said, so I made a comic and I think someone may have stolen my comic character for their comic. Curious, has this ever happened to you? And if so, what do you do? If you have not on some way, shape or form, Put that character out into the internet stratosphere where it, you can prove that it's been copyrighted. There's literally nothing you can do. Pick yourself up, take a deep breath, and come up with something else. Yeah, it's... There's nothing else you can do. And if, if it has come out... Because... Um, the truth is that, you know, I, I don't know what the number is. Like, there's a... And this is a subjective thing, but uh, if you change something... A certain amount, I think I've heard like 15%. I don't know you how you come me up with 30%. 30%. Okay. Well, whatever it is, 
I, and really, I mean, that's a totally subjective thing because how do you put, you know, legally, how do you put that number on there? I yeah. have no idea how they do it, but there is a procedure for it. Um, you know, so that's a possibility for sure, but yeah. it can happen it, and it can. And, and there's no point in, if it's not published, if you haven't put it out there, just, just regroup and move on. I can't there's say really, nothing you can do. No, I can't say as I've ever had it happen, but really the truth is that I've never had it happen just because I don't, you don't really you don't put that so much stuff out. Either. Yeah. Like I, I have this idea for a comic that I really want to do about all this stuff. And really, I think it's going to be the coolest thing of all time. And you know, you of course think. that's what you think when you're coming up with yeah, something. Right. But uh, I have drawn like nothing for it. I have written nothing, but like it's, it's just in my head. So, you know, uh, if I had more time, I guess I would be putting stuff out there and that could happen, but I've just been so busy all the time. All right. Next super chat comes from RC designs for $2, not to be a past did, but did magic get posted? Uh, yeah. That's an, did course. you post it? No, that's, that's a no. I, okay. I, I, okay. I have to be honest. I've forgotten where I even said I would post it on your discord or something. Is that where I said I would do where it? People could color it. The ink. Oh, okay. Or maybe a you gum road. We're ever on your gum road. Okay. Oh, there. and by the way, uh, I want to mention for those of you on Discord, first of all, thank you very much for being on Discord. I really appreciate it. It's a great community. If you're not on there, give it a try. There's a link in the description, I think. Uh, and if not, Eric, uh, our moderator, uh, has a link. But um, the video that I did with uh, Dr. Rock, I have all of the raw drawing file, all real time, totally unedited. And so, and it's, it's unlisted. And so I'm going to put up a link to it on Discord so you can go watch it. There are no ads and there's no commentary. There's no sound, but you can watch that whole thing being drawn all real time. I'll do that tomorrow. Perfect. All right. Next super chat from Gerald Lang. Hey, Jerry, for $5. Jerry wants to know, did you share my book tier breakdown ideas with Dave? Monday Night Draw Art Book, art book equals take my money now. <laughs> Back Dave's Dragon Rage cover, How's a Horse? So no. No, the answer is no, Jerry. I haven't shared it with Dave. But the great thing about Facebook Messenger is I, I know that it's there and I can go back and show him because he's not awake when I wake him up. Like lately, you don't even go to bed till four o'clock in the morning. And then you wake up and I'm like, Dave, it's it's nine o'clock. Do you want to wake up now? Thank goodness for daylight savings time when you got to get an extra hour of sleep. Oh, that was great. But and, and you have to admit, when do I not wake up? I always wake you up. You do, but I feel so guilty. Why do you make me so guilty? You know that guilt is my weakness. Uh, yeah, I know. Go I, to bed, I, man. Get I, some sleep. The problem and is I get FYI, a, yeah. I gave you that Gatorade to drink two days ago. Why is it still sitting unopened on your counter? Because I didn't boy. drink it. I gave it to you. I said, You're sick, drink the Gatorade. I couldn't believe it when because she asked me, she said, Did you drink it? I said, Oh yeah. And she said, okay, good. And I thought, wow, really? You bought that? <laughs> you drink diet pop but that does nothing for your body, but I, you're sick and you won't drink the Gatorade. I'm moving on, Gary. Don't worry, Jerry, I'll drink it. No, stop. Drink the Gatorade. Jerry, the horses are good. They're neglected right now because I've been home for a week and a half. Yeah, nobody has COVID here, thankfully. Yeah. But We don't have COVID, but we're still sick. Yeah, you really can't just be running no, around No, I've just been sleeping now. on the couch. I like sleeping on the couch. I made dinner tonight, so there's that. Yeah, pork chops. Yeah. Oh, your favorite. Not Jazz Singh has a super chat for twenty dollars. This is oh man, you are so behind. I saw Jazz was here. Like, you know, oh no. Before I, we talked to Frank, I well, don't pretend to not be behind. We I were just. To them. I was just talking to. Uh, Stop ja now. You're interrupting my super chat. I'm okay. trying to catch up. Okay. Dave just wanted to thank you for sharing your art tutorial with the world. You've been a teacher to me without even without you even knowing. I drew. Fan art for Jimmy, and now it's going to be the cover of Dragon Rage 2. I know, and that's what I was just going to say. I couldn't thank you enough. And then Page One Comics has a five dollars super chat there. saying, "Congrats, Jazz Singh, on getting a Dragon Rage 2 cover." Yeah, actually, Jimmy You're was just telling way. me about that. We were talking about Jazz just uh, before the stream started today, and yeah, he's uh, doing incredibly well. And you know, he, I'm totally not surprised. I mean, Jazz is going to be working. Well, he is. That's official. He is now, he is He's now professionally working. working and yeah. there you go. Way and, go you know, Jets. once you get some uh, work out there professionally, it really starts to snowball. Hopefully it will yes. quickly. I think he's such a great artist. And, you know, he's just a very nice guy. That's right. Next, I got to meet him in Toronto. I know. Like two years ago. I know. The next super chat comes from Paul Essenson for 
seven dollars and 99 cents australian almost time to start thinking about that seventy five thousand dollars subscriber giveaway seventy five thousand subscriber giveaway are you even 70 we've got time oh no Paul. i'm at 67 we got time we've got time time Paul. but it's coming i'm looking I get forward it. to it i get what you're saying there but we got time yeah, let's talk about that's like a New Year's thing right now. Uh, well, and it, it really depends. Like sometimes it, it goes up faster, and sometimes it, it goes it, slower. Let me just tell you right now: if Monday Night Draw falls on January first. We're not doing it. Uh, okay, yeah, no. Well, we're taking the day off. People. Nobody would be doing it. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here. I don't know. We'd yeah, we'd be doing this for ourselves. No, yeah. K Man Devil has a super chat for twenty dollars. Thank you so much, K Man. Thank you. Hi, much, Mayor and Dave. I love how people know that it's Mayor. I don't even call you mayor. I know, but some people do call me mayor, and that's yeah. the thing. Apparently, I'm mayor on the stream, too. Mayor some, is better than little death. It is little death. Only one person calls me little death. As someone who just recently got back into drawing after about 20 years, I just want to thank you guys for the constant inspiration. I'm drawing every day, and I'm looking forward to taking Dave's courses. Aw, thank uh, you well, so yeah, much. Thank you very much. That's all on you, Dave. Uh, yeah. And I want to say, uh, I actually just got an email today um, about the courses and somebody had some concerns. I ha Apparently, I have a video that's on there twice with a different name, the same video. So I have to fix that. That's All this stuff is tomorrow. I, I had a, a page <laughs> just desperately yeah, finishing done. today. But uh, also, he had a question about um, um, posting his art and, uh, you know, getting critiques and that kind of thing. And um, it has a community feature the website um but i don't think it's really working the way that i was hoping it would work and it seems like it's it's giving people trouble so what i'm going to do is uh i i've got to talk to eric um tomorrow anyway we're going to talk uh hopefully eric has time actually i'm mentioning i haven't even eric we got to talk tomorrow and i want to see if eric can you know uh give me a little guidance on how to set up a facebook page or just set it up on the discord one way or another, I want to set up a thing. So if you're taking the course, you can post the artwork and get criticism and, you know, right. get uh, feedback. Okay, cool. Um, uh, I zoomed in because this brush working like, oh, man. You love it? It's, well, it's, We're I gonna be here so much, all night. Don't stop. Don't do I have so not, much more control. Don't than, take all right, I'm not stopping. Brush. It's already 930. I'm not, I'm drawing and talking. It's already 930 and you haven't even finished the, like, you're not even finished putting in the shadow. Yeah. K-Man Devil also had another super chat for $5. Dave, do you think that someone in their 40s could, 40s could still break in, in, into the industry asking for a friend? Okay, <laughs> asking for okay I'm that friend. <laughs> uh, yes, absolutely. You certainly can. The, uh, and, and there is no ageism that I am aware of. Nobody's thinking, oh, you know, because people are judging you based on your art. And that's something I love about comics uh, nobody cares how old you are if you can draw nobody, the picture. Yeah, it's it's really if if the picture works. You could be works, eighty. You certainly can, and so um, this is not the Hollywood. There There's no is, ageism. There is a barrier, though. It'd be wrong it's to say quality. there's no barrier to it. Uh, okay, of course, quality, but it's not what we're talking. about. The barrier that I'm talking about is the commitment because um, it is not an easy go to start. Now, I talked to Frank earlier on. He started doing uh, color guides. He was making nothing. I made a hundred dollars a week for a little bit there. And, um, you know, that's not easy to survive on. And we're talking about truly a full-time job in order to really, now it doesn't have to be, you can, you can slow it down, but it, you know, to have the kind of uh, career growth and you know, the, what you would get at a younger age, you would need to be able to devote that kind of time. Um, it's just, it's not feasible. I know at 40, that's, that's where it's tougher. You can absolutely do it. There's nothing that will stop you from doing it. Where it's tough is just, uh, you know, commitments and time and family and, and those kinds of things. So. All right. Greg L has a super chat for $2. Says, you got the brush. What exactly is the brush? Exactly. The brush is totally. It's, you know what? The worst part is I haven't, I've had this thing sitting here for so long. I lost the cap. I was putting my, this is my, um, this is, you're Micron the, cap. You are the equivalent of Isaac, and yeah. I'm picking caps out of dogs' mouths today. So this is a sable brush, um, and it's a – oh, wow. It takes so long to get this thing finally up and running, and I can't even you remember can't what it's what it called. Is. Okay, you know what, Greg? We'll get back to you on that. Yeah, I know. I've got the brush. I'm Thank using it. And See, this is, this it's still is, a fail. <laughs> this is the lure that Dave dangles out there to make you come back next week. There you go. It's all planned. Yeah. 
SES Powerlifting, $5 Super Chat. I got to see an old video you two did when Dave had braces. L-O-L. Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. your braces? Oh, I sure do. Do you your retainers? Yeah. Do I? Oh, yeah, of course. No, no, you don't. Not at all. He's going to need braces again, SES. He won't wear the retainers. I know another non-compliant retainer wearer in this house who has your DNA. Yeah. Joe Catapano. I think I said that right. For $5. Love your work. People have a chance to win an original pinup when you sign up. Starcircuitcomic.com. Really? That was a... You just read somebody's ad. That was a super chat. Somebody super chatted that. That wasn't just an ad. Like, they paid $5 to say that. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Water... Water Shush. And we're coming back to Water Shush. It has a Singapore $5 super chat. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom because water has another one for for 10 Singapore dollars. Hello from Singapore. Call me hater. H-A-I-D-E-R. I think I said that right. Been drawing weekly as you stream for over a few months now. Even now, you two are an inspiration. Hope to see you in Singapore Con again. Soon supported Dragon Rage. Thank you oh, that's so great. much. Yeah, thank you very much. I really am hoping to get back to Singapore sooner rather than later and you know it's everything whoops i'll fix that in a second what happens when you try and draw a face with uh with ink or well, i mean with a brush i just don't have the control i just think it's funny somebody paid five dollars to have an ad on your stream to have me read an ad on your stream well you go. it worked it worked english Re one two three five euros only good part of being locked down again is i don't need to worry about sleeping late on monday Gonna dive in on these tutorials hard. Oh, that's great. That's and thank you. I, I guess Europe's down at lockdown again. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Hearts. Yeah. Hopefully it won't last too long. Hopefully and it's, not. Yeah. Well, we had like a thousand one day over the weekend in Canada, so oh. I'm trying not to think about it. I'm just trying not to think about it because we're sick. We're self quarantining anyway. This all too. This oh, this pass. too shall pass. There Jerry Roscoe has a ten dollars super chat. I love your Avengers work. I'm working on an issue featuring an archer, and I'm finding the perspective foreshortening for someone using a bow difficult to get consistently. Do you have any tips? Uh yeah. My number one tip, and thank you very much for the super chat. My number one tip would be to just uh, go on Google and type in you know someone drawing a bow or whatever, and you can find actually I have. Is that now, what you would do? Uh, so I've gone on Pinterest before, and there are um. Uh, photo layouts of you know you have the bow from here and then here and then here and then up here and like uh, different poses and that kind of thing and I've saved all the stuff in a folder, uh, you know. So yeah, there are times you know for specific things like that, I very often will use uh, reference. Is that the Pentel pocket brush pen? Uh, maybe. You don't know. I'm gonna find out. I will find out. Okay. All right. Oh, Charles Petrie says it might be time to start prompting the likes. All right. It's Merit, It's time for Merit to say, since it's 9-3 already and we only have 281 likes, I clearly have not said yet to like and subscribe. So if you like this video, we have 486 people watching it right now. All 486 of you need to hit the like button. I don't want to see anybody hit dislike. <sighs> Not tonight. You're man. asking for it. We are both sick. Have some sympathy, people. Hit man, the like button. When you say and it like that, I'm tempted to hit the dislike button. I don't care. <laughs> you dislike me anyway. I'm your hey. wife. It's just natural. It, your wife deaf most of the time. So, And if you hit the like button and you've not already subscribed to David Finch, also hit subscribe. There we go. And well, let me remind yeah. you again. I really appreciate this. Charles Petrie, let me remind you again that next week we have Nick Brucci on to talk about Dave's Red Sonya Kickstarter. Tomorrow, you can pre-order that fantastic Batman cover, Batman Catwoman cover that you just saw that we previewed. There are three different variants you can draw, you can pick from. Batman cover. Right? Dave showed it. it he yeah. sucks. He's not the best promotionalist. But that's yeah. why we love Dave. We love Dave there. because of his modesty. We suck at this. We're doing our best. We, we really are. We are. We We're are. We're doing our best. Why am I still looking at 281? Somebody please tell me that more that people have hit the like button. Meredith. 
I don't know. My screen never refreshes. I'm just saying. Now I'm going to keep reading Super Chats because that's my job. That's okay. why I'm here. That's why I'm paid the big bucks. I have not coughed once tonight. I want everybody to appreciate this. You haven't. That's wow. I'm sick. I sound like I need to go lie down on my bed. I can tell from my own voice, but for some reason I have not coughed. You actually sound fine. Do you know, I? I'm going to zoom back out. I'm kind of... I can feel it in my nose. Like I feel stuffy. Okay, here's my next Super Jack question from Faithless for $10. How do you determine, and I don't want to jinx myself because I don't want to cough again. I don't. I want to get through a stream where I don't cough. How do you determine where you add your shadow or where you shade the most? And is there such a thing as overshading to your work? Um, okay, so how I determine, and there is certainly a thing, uh, such a thing as overshading. So I'm just going to use this guy here. And so I'm going to light him from the easiest way possible. And that would be from basically <laughs> what a terrible arrow from this direction. So it's not directly to the side. It's coming to, coming toward him a little bit. I hope that that's clear anyway. And so, uh, you know, if I have a circle, a sphere, excuse me, uh, the lighting would be like this or the shadow would be like this away from the light. This is where your light would hit it. And so this shape here is kind of, you know, let me just, work that in and we're going with very simple shapes here. And then the inside of the arm would be like this. And then that would be like that because that's, you know, going under his, his chest a little bit. I'm going to cast a shadow from his head here. And so you can see it's really based on I'm just thinking of things in terms of, and these are such simple shapes that hopefully it's, it's fairly clear. Like I've got basically a sphere shape here. And so I'm going to light it like a sphere, the whole thing. There we go. And this leg, I'm gonna go like this. This leg like this. And you can see how quickly just using, you know, very simple shapes. I keep saying very simple shapes, but it's true. That's really how the lighting uh, gets worked out for everything. Is that the Kiritaki brush pen? <laughs> yes, that's what it is. Thank you to Thank the stream. You, you just oh. have to add. The stream is like Google, only yep. better. It's like a live Google. It's a human Google. We have a human Google on the stream. Kurataki. There you go. There we go. Next oh. super chat for, comes from Claudio Rogangen for $5. Did you notice that Spawn kind of looks like Prowler? I mean, it's literally just a color swap. Am I the only one that sees this? Please tell me I'm not. Spawn looks like Prowler? Yeah. Maybe it's a, spe a specific Spawn. I don't know. I would have to Does spawn look like Prowler with a color swap. I don't know. Well, thank you for the super chat and the intriguing question. And if we had better Let's... comic lore on this stream, we're not, we, we would suck. know. We, <laughs> we, we not, we, we not good for comic lore. I'm good for some, but yeah, no, we, we we're not good for most stuff. I'm good honestly. for, I'm better for artist lore. You're good for artist lore. As a general rule, we're not good for comic lore. So if somebody thinks that it looks like Prowler, then let, let me know. There are only, Charles Patrick says there are only eight more Mondays this year after tonight. Well, you know what that means? How, how long have we been doing the stream for again? You know what that means, right? What does that mean? That means there are eight more pictures to go into our first book. Eight more pictures for our first book. Season and then, one. And then we're going to do season one. We will wrap it. Like no picture drawn after December 31st. 2020 gets in the book. I think that's fair. Would, you guys, year, be, would you guys be down for a Kickstarter of the David, the, the draw with David Meredith Finch? Is that a Kickstarter or a bull book? I don't, I don't know. know. Is that worth Kickstarting? Well, you know, we'll have to talk about it and figure it out. We'll I'm, sure talk we'll figure about it. I'm putting it on the stream. I'm putting it out to the stream because why not? That's what the stream's for. Stream knows all. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll find out. And there's legalities involved, too, because it's uh Well, we have to characters. get permissions. Right. So we'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll ask. We've done kicks. We've done books without getting permissions before. Yeah, but we were selling them at conventions. Like, we'll figure. You know what? There is a way. We'll figure it out. All right. We've also sold it on the website. The Prowler drawn Tar Todd McFarlane, also Todd Spawn. They're oh, both... you know what? I do. I think I know what he means. It's Claudia Rogengen's two dollars says they're both drawn by Todd McFarlane. Yeah, I yeah. think it was at the end of uh, the Spider-Man 
Um, I've got the graphic novel, and there's like a short story. And yeah, that is a really good point. There you go. So here's what we got. Sheldon Martin says, yes, that is very Kickstarterable. Everything shivers. Yes, on the Kickstarter. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. Two people say yes. Uh, still waiting for Maris ultra realistic portraits and watercolor course. Maybe 2021 will be the year. <laughs> That's Drew Mayer. Drew Mayer J says that. Yeah, Maris going to get right on that one. El hell yes is Jordan Seward. This is on the way. We could do a your mother teaches me how to do watercolor again. There we go. My mom could teach watercolors. She really could. And she's taught me watercolor my mom before. Is my, it's, see, people don't know this about me, but my mom actually is a painter. Yep. She's very, very good. She's, she's very good. And she taught me before. And I learned a Not lot from it. Not just my mom. But, but then, my, my aunt is also a painter. Yep. And, and my mother. And your mother's a painter. They actually paint together. They were now, you know, it's kind of had a bit of a hiccup over the last little bit. Because uh, of COVID nineteen. That's right, but they'll be back. But yeah, no, I don't. Prote- I don't. I don't know <laughs> if I could paint or not. I don't even make an attempt. You couldn't. Thank you. I love. I love your support. You, look, you gotta understand, art is. Uh, it's not for everyone. It requires a temperament and um, creativity. It's true. So I'm just gonna read. I'm just going to read you this again, because this is how great a wife I am, even though you're <laughs> such an ASS donkey. Okay, okay, hey, hey, it's not better if you spell it. Don't forget to remind me about the garbage tonight, everybody. I have my sheet. Dave's Red Sonia. We're going to have Nick Brucci on next week. Nick Brucci from Dynamite Comics. I don't know the last time he did a live stream interview. He's never done it. He's never done it. So you guys want to be on for that. I don't know when it's going to be. Maybe we'll, we'll like start the stream and then get him right in there. That's actually the plan. And that was the, the plan, plan tonight too. To start the stream and just feed him right in. Yeah, so I feel like it's it's a little better just to jump right in. You want to be here for Nick because you never know what kind of like cool reveals you could get. I'm not saying we're going to get a reveal, but it could happen. Tomorrow is your first chance to order that amazing batman catwoman comic book please order it dave will post it on his facebook i'm gonna put on my facebook i'm gonna put on dave's facebook i'm gonna put on my twitter i don't even promote your stuff mostly but i'm gonna do it for you because i love you you. you're too good to me i do actually promote your stuff i mostly promote me though that's all right and i'm just gonna throw this out there because why not if you want if you've heard us talk about the book of ruth you can actually get a pdf copy on global comics now Oh, good. This whole and Leslie, your guy. sister, just texted me and she said, you're getting good at this YouTube thing. No, that was October 7th. I'm still getting good at this YouTube thing. And then tonight she said, don't forget to take out the garbage. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> Thank you for texting me. And again, I want to apologize to Frank that we are so terrible at interviewing. And thank you for letting your cats be on our stream too, so that Patches isn't the only feline celebrity. Yep. Yeah, Frank's cat is a more in your space. Ours are more <laughs> yeah. loud. Frank's cat is like right on the keyboard, right on the keyboard. Yep. All right, I because I was chatting, I think I missed some some stuff on the stream. What have I got here? I'm sniffly. I'm sorry. I'm sniffly in the microphone. Sniffly. That's the worst. Nothing's worse than listening to somebody sniffle. I yeah. would blow my nose, but that would be actually worse than listening to me sniffle. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this. When I do my tutorial videos, I actually methodically ever edit out every single breath that I take. He does. It's because it drives me nuts. I can't stand listening to it. And so, yeah, you'll notice like it, it, I'll say something, the microphone will go boom, dead. And that's then, I'll why. Come, yeah, it's because I'm editing. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Mandevil says maybe you should do the book and have a contest. For one lucky subscriber slash artist to have one of their submissions included, and you could do a poll. Okay, now I'm going to say I would not do a contest for that, just because I don't like to make it competitive. But I do like the idea of uh, yeah, when somebody include something, Henry, yeah. like a subs. Uh, I want to figure. No, I, I wouldn't want to make it something you have to yeah. pay for. Hen- but, no, mm-hmm. but like a student section. Hen- Henry Jeremy says yes. We all want to buy every issue of Monday Night Draw, season one, season two, season three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, thank you, Henry. 
appreciate it. Charles Mary Petrus is married. It's not too late to start drawing if you want to just have fun with it. Charles, it's too late. I don't have time. Yeah. Maybe when the kids are grown. By the way, I know last night, last week, last night, last week, I can't, I can't keep track. We complained about insurance. We did? But we did. Oh, right. Because Everett's driving. Yeah. Because Everett's driving. Yeah. But let me tell you today. I said to him, Everett, because he's been driving with his own license for a week. And the first, the, I'm not going to lie, the first day he had his friends over and they're like around the house in his room. I'm like, dude, go away. Get your friends, put them in your car, go somewhere, go to the mall, go for a drive, go get McDonald's, just leave. And I think that was like a breakthrough for him. Yeah, I'm not stuck here. I have a car. He, like it really. He's been all over the place now. And ever since that time, that ever since I said that to him, they've been to the mall. They they like they've been out for dinner. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah, go. Just take the car. Go. Leave. Enjoy your freedom. And today I asked him because he was. I I want to say he was almost giddy driving the car to school for the first time. <laughs> and yeah unfortunately i was sleeping for that you were sleeping through that but he i i, I saw him after it because i still have to drive to school because his older brother hayden i have is our special needs child and i pick hayden up and for every morning at eight o'clock and then i drive hayden to school and he never go to the same school so i passed everett walking into the school today after i dropped hayden off and I honked at him and the look and i'm like what is he doing here already he doesn't have to be here he was so excited and he was I'm not kidding. He, his car was halfway around the other side of school. I don't even, his car was like five miles away. He was just so excited to drive that car to school. He would have walked 10 miles <sighs> just to be able to drive it. Oh, that's so, great. So nice to have. Although now I'm, I'm like, every time the phone rings, I'm like, oh my gosh, please don't let it be Everett saying he got in an accident. That's one thing, right? Uh, I think eventually you get over that, but when the phone rings and you don't expect the phone to ring. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I haven't been worried about that, but I think it's a mother thing. It's probably a mother thing. Johnny Cage, JP7 says, marriage seems like so much fun. Well, we are clearly doing something right. It's really not this much fun, but if we can pretend and persuade you that it is, <laughs> we can give you that illusion. Are you saying you're not having fun oh, every I minute? I love you so much. I do. I do love you. What would I do without you to rub my feet every night? You're not even going to comment on that? Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Can you hit me that Gatorade you didn't drink all week? Marriage is not fun in the USA, says Mike Stewart, LOL. <sighs> oh, you're... Uh... Yeah, no, right. I actually am getting that Gatorade. If okay. you're not going to drink it, I am. All right, there you go. It's going to keep me up all night, but I don't even care. What's the, what's our light count? No, somebody says the count. Brandon East to West Shrock says the count is now larger than the number of people watching. There you go. Fair enough. We're doing right. I'm at 498. Can we get to 500? Al Padrino says marriage is not fun anywhere. That's not somebody who is married. Come on, people. Marriage takes work, yes, but it's fun. Well, it certainly can be, and it cannot be. I mean, you know, it's like sometimes things don't work, and that's the truth. But, uh, yeah, it does take work. And, you know, we fight. Uh, I wouldn't say all the time, but we definitely fight. We fought so much more years ago. We fought all the time. We really did. I mean, you know, and it was good because I would say our, our best – the thing that the number one thing that made everything work is that we both live in reality. There's no, uh, you know, uh, people claiming that they said things that they didn't or, you know, that kind of thing or, you know, changing facts because you don't want to be proven wrong. Like dealing with people that do that, very, very difficult. And nobody does that. So it, it makes it, you know, I think we uh, <clears throat> made it through a lot of that because of that. You know. Alec Obert says, Dave Finch, you can record room noise with just, just rec recording the room ambient noise. That way, when you cut out your breath, you can replace it with the room noise and you won't get the mic drop. And But then Jordan Seward also says, Dave Finch, me too. I edit out my breaths. 
Yes, there you go. Yeah. Thank you very much. But Alec. that's a good Yeah, I'm totally tip, gonna do Alec, that. For recording room noise. Yeah, I'll just um because it's room noise is constant, I can just record about five minutes of it. Or you know what? I don't know. Ashmit Ghosh is banned from the stream. Can <laughs> season two be stepping up a notch and drawing a complete scene? Hey. Stop now. You're banned. <laughs> I don't even rec Ashmit. I don't even know if I've seen you in the stream before, but you're banned. Wow. Ashmit, she's kidding. No, I, I am kidding. Not. <laughs> I said, can you step it up a notch? Like, I would love to, but yeah. There's no, not enough time to step it up a notch. There's not. And uh, yeah, the next project is always like, I, I really wish I would love to be able to do, you know, a lot more. Um, but that is a, that is, that is a course. Yeah. That is a course. That is not a, a two hour stream thing. Well, I think this is, I really enjoy doing this. I love being able to talk to all you guys while we're doing this. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's been great. And I wouldn't give it up ever, but I wouldn't want to be doing it for, you know, um, hour after hour after hour. Like, you know, and there's a, a limit and I'm sure for you guys too. It's, it's fun to watch a drawing. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the interviews. Are we going to be you here know? all night, Dave? Meredith, it's, it's 951. So, you know. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take. Oh, no, we're we're actually making really good. Time. Oh, OK, I got to turn my my screen glare down because I'm only at 30 percent for some reason. I had 100 percent, but well, that's not good. Yeah, no, I, good. I don't think you're really going to run out. Henry Jermick says, dear Dave's sister, Kitty Pride's hair looks great, as well as the veins and the wings of Lockheed. A beautiful piece. Congrats. Ah, thank you, Henry. They do look great. Lockheed looks great. You know what? That just reminds me of Anne McCaffrey and the Dragon Riders of Pern. Yeah does Quality i want to i want an Anne McCaffrey movie oh how great would that be, be i read so every good. single one of those books netflix we uh, want an Anne McCaffrey movie you want to talk about another thing like in not a million years would I ever read an Anne McCaffrey J or dragon riders a burn book like you know I'm, i'd be more into conan but my sister had those books needed something to read i started one next thing you know i read every they're single one they're so good they are incredibly good i've read them so many times i can't even tell you how many times the only books my sister has that i i really never got i there were a couple. I know um, Discworld. I never got into, and I know it's great. It's Piers Anthony. Just uh, never... Piers Anthony, I couldn't get over. Uh, no, I like Piers I, Anthony I a lot. Some of them, I read some of them, but they just felt like, you know, some books make you feel good when you read them, and some books make you feel a little bit like. Eh. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, he can be a little. Piers cynical. Anthony made me feel a little bit like, eh, and yeah. I didn't like the eh, feeling. Fair enough. Yeah, no, I, I'm a huge Piers Anthony fan, and he's written so much stuff that I love. And I'm sure that had I given it more time, I, by the way, I have uh, the running man. We were talking about this last week uh, in my queue and I've just had such a, it's been that kind of week. I haven't had a chance, but uh, I guarantee I should not say that. I don't what that you should not say that. I, I guarantee with the out that, you know, maybe I, I won't follow through. <laughs> I don't guess that's say not a guarantee. guarantee anyway. Yeah. I don't want to say guarantee, but I'm going to, Re, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do, do my the, very best. I'm gonna do my very best. I'm gonna listen to the auto audio book for that one. Uh, you know, this you week. Get so time. I would say I do my review, but come on, nobody cares. Nobody, nobody. I'm sorry. I love you. I look. I I I, I promise I'd read things. I haven't read them yet. I'm just tired. You have I'm the so books. Tired. I'm You're so just... tired. Why am I so tired? And yes, Mike Stewart says life is hard. Marriage is basically two people struggling with life's hardships. It's not a constant honeymoon. I like, I read something on Facebook. Some people have seen it. Some people have not seen it. But it ultimately comes down to is marriage is hard. Divorce is hard. Choose your hard. That's about life. Life is about choices. Choose what your hard's going to be. And yeah. yes, Kenny Wang, we do guys, we guys do have like a serious fight early on, but not now. Like our no. fights aren't serious now. Well, and a big part of that is I'm like, okay, I have. We, I mean, how I many times motorcycle? are you going to hash the same fight over it? I have over my motorcycles. If if something were to happen, I definitely would lose one of those in the divorce. You know, <laughs> I so. would totally take. I mean, you're going to pay for my lifestyle. I'm not losing a horse. You're losing a motorcycle. So yeah, you know, and that it makes me just go, okay, it's not worth it. It's fine. You win. No, stop it. You <laughs> love me. I love of you. I do. You love me. You no, know you do. I do. Henry Jeremick says, Mayor, don't forget the garbage. Thanks for the reminder, Henry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. You and it's actually getting close. Closer anyway. We have 526 likes, so we're over 500, which is great. And there's only 444, 450 people watching. So thank you, everybody, for the likes. Al Petrino says, my birthday's on the 12th. Well, tell me next week so I can wish you happy birthday. 
Did you read the Red Queen War Trilogy by Mark Lawrence? No, I'm not aware of it. Are you? Nope. All right. The only queen, White Queen, Red Queen series I know were written by Alison Weir, and they're about the War of the Roses in England. Claud- Claudio Rogangen, I think he takes the cake for the most super chat tonight for $2. Do you have a least favorite superhero to draw, Dave? Um, Any character with a lot of armor that I'm not familiar with. So uh, Iron Man, I hated for a long time. But then, you know, you, I get used to it, and I kind of learn it, and then I'm fine with it. It's the every time I draw a character having to... Uh, reference back and then realizing I forgot things. Another thing that I can't stand, a character will have, at some point in the story, will get a scar. And um, guaranteed, two out of the five panels or whatever, I'll forget to put the scar in. Guaranteed. It's just little details like that uh, can be very frustrating. That kind of thing. But yeah. Anything like when people ask you for uh, MODOK. Uh, Galactus. Well, in a sketch. Anything with an elaborate head headpiece. Um, oh yeah like all the the jack kirby type of like yeah galactus for sure i yeah. love galactus i think he's great when i get that for a sketch i'm like, You're like oh, oh i gotta God. reference it because you yeah. can't just do it off your any well, sketch you have to reference world war hulk that's another one with yeah. this whole like i love drawing the hulk then you know trying to draw this whole costume and meanwhile i'm in uh you know new york or wherever in a hotel room and it's two o'clock in the morning and i'm just like boy i can't do it yeah. Rike Inglis one two three says the truth is nobody here would ever let you two get a divorce. Aww. Nah, you know what that means, Dave? I can be as mean as I want. You can't <laughs> That's such a great way to look at that. That's what that means. That's what he said. He gave you permission. You guys can all be our marriage counselor. You, that's right. One mighty artist says, "Merit, does David have a go-to dance move at parties?" David can't dance. I love him so so much. Dave has no rhythm. Like truly, I love you so much, Dave. Thanks. Yeah, I love you too, and it's true. Do you have it's rhythm? True. You have like a fist thing that you do. I, I do have your... the hold the beer in one hand and do. Yeah. You kind of go like this, like little fisty thing. Oh uh, yeah, look. That's you know your, what? but that's that's your dance move. I love it. You're so cute. You don't have rhythm. She says she loves it. She gets embarrassed. No, I don't. Oh I, yeah, you do. I totally dance with you. I'm not embarrassed. Yeah, no, you be actually. It's true. You, I you dance do. with you. I don't care. I'll dance. I don't need you to be dancing with me to dance with me. I can be the dancing queen. <laughs> Kevin Man Devil, $5 super chat. Dave, is there one nurse in particular that is still on your wish list to work with? Um, well, you know, that's a, a bit of a tough question because being a, 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 a penciler, it, it's tough for me to work with an artist uh, because we view in the same job. So that's a little... You know, um, when I think of artists that I would love to see, uh, you know, do a story that I could have some input in, or, you know, artists that I would love to ink. Um, you know, I mentioned uh, a while ago Greg Capullo, who I think I really, really enjoy. Um, you know, a lot of the, you know, Tony Daniel and a lot of those guys, you know, um, some of the guys I came up with at Marvel, like uh, Steve McNiven. Um, you know, so really when it comes down to artists though, it much more for me, it's not who I would work with, but it's, it's who I'm influenced by and who I'm looking at and, and just finding, you know, that I'm really enjoying like, uh, Jorge Jimenez right now is a huge one for me. I'm, I'm actually doing a, a cover. I got reference from my editor, uh, of some of his, his work. And it's just, I mean, just makes me happy, you know, like the best kind of art just gives you a, there's a. I feel like I'm going to talk like you for a second here, Meredith, but it gives you a joy. Aww. It sounds so corny. I love it. That makes me, that makes my heart happy. All right. Anthony Gee has our next super chat for 499. Anthony says, I can't think of a question this week. So I guess this is just my weekly monetary tribute to my favorite Canucks. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anthony. Thanks, Anthony. We we'll buy some it. Kleenex. Yeah, we're gonna need we'll it, use it to for buy sure. Kleenex and Advil. Yeah, well, we're coming. Down, like they're all coming down from this. I'm just kind of ramping up, and this has been—it's like a week long. Every day, you're just a little bit worse. And I know tomorrow I'm going to be a little worse. 
I'm a little worried because I have a YouTube video to do tomorrow. And you keep saying that you've been saying it for like a week now. I'm gonna, I gotta record this. I gotta record this. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm behind on it. It really is right now. I've got a few things that I'm behind on, um, and that I desperately need to get to. And if I do one, I'm, I'm behind on another, and it's, it's a real problem. So I finally got enough done on a few things just this past week. That so you can do. So you're going to do your recording the thing tomorrow. I've got two different things to record tomorrow. And then you also have covers to do. Yes, I know. So basically my goal is to be recording two things tomorrow. Jump right into covers. I've got a few. Yeah. And I've two still got. Two recordings and starting a cover. And statue designs. Pardon? Statue designs. Oh, crap. Statue design. There's so much stuff. Why? Mm. Statue design too? Yes. So well. much stuff. Why can't I draw two? Why can't you be a clone? All right. Sorry, we got a super chat from Comic Book Bob. Hey, Comic Book Bob. Comic Thanks Book for Bob's $5 super chat is, all right, people, it's your last chance to back Dragon Rage for Dave's cover. There's 24 hours left. Once it's over, it's over. There's no online store. Get the rarest David Finch cover ever. Ever, ever, ever. Where's my where's my echo? I need an echo button. I don't ever, have one. Ever, 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 ever. Comic book. Yeah, bottom. everybody support Jimmy. It's the last day that he'll. I, I think he'll still have some stuff available. But for my cover, certainly it's the last day. And uh, uh, yeah, every every little bit helps. It's a great book. Also, you know, it's not some kind of charity, man. He's got a good good product. He's put so much time and effort into it. It's yeah, that's good. All right. Um, here's a question that I often wonder myself from Brandon East to West Schrock. Wow, that looks awesome. How do you keep women's faces from looking alike and still looking pretty? Uh, I, okay, look, I, I don't know. My women's faces all Come look on, alike. Like, really? I, I will say this. Um, I can draw a younger or older or stronger or weaker woman's face. So there is that. And to draw a stronger face, I make the nose just a little bit larger um, and just a little bit more distance between the eyes and the, the end of the nose. So just a tiny little bit. And I also can just go a little bit larger with the jaw, just a bit. To make a, a woman look softer and younger, um, I will make the nose smaller and... Uh, um, bring up the cheeks a little bit and bring in the jaw. So little things like that. But those are, that really is, I mean, I hate to say it's the limit of my ability to really make individual faces. I, I just, you know, this, I, I could put a different hairdo on her and she would be a different character. I, I mean, you know, that's the, the truth. All right. Next super chat comes from Black Tiger 001 for $5 Canadian. Would you do a multi stream project like three or four shorter streams where you break it down to layout, concept, picking rough pencils, and inks? That feels more like a YouTube thing. Yeah, I, I would not do that just because the truth is, I, I'm going to say. It'd be hard to do on the stream. It would be very difficult to do on the stream and stuff like that. I, like these kinds of pictures, to be totally honest, I can pretty much, well, you can see I can draw and talk the whole time and I don't really you know, get, uh, you know, derailed. But when I'm really laying out a, an actual page, you know, something that um, has more moving parts in it, uh, I tend to like to be able to just sit and concentrate. Like uh, Meredith actually came down to check out a couple of lights downstairs this morning and I came out of my office like, what's going on? What are you doing? Because I, I don't want somebody outside my door while I'm working. I, I get very... Um, I'm like... Then you're like, why are you bothering me? I'm like, I'm not bothering you. Go never, away. I'm doing my own thing. I never actually did say you're making that up. I you never were said. Wondering, wanted to know what I was doing. I was wondering why you're bothering me. And I did not you say. Talking, you started talking to me, and I'm like, go away. I didn't say why you bothered me. Go away. Me, you pretty much did. I pro oh, pretty much. The, you pretty much did. There's a in difference my, between pretty much and my, actually. My did. recollection of the situation in Meredith's right. world. Are you yeah. sure you didn't say why you're bothering me? No, I, I'm sure I didn't say that. But you definitely got the implication, right? So I can't. I deny. did, yeah, I did That's get the totally what I was thinking. That's yeah. right. Why are you down here? Well, and I had just I had been up all night. So why? Look, you know what? I'll say this: I was up all night 
drawn a picture that I was having a blast with. I'm, you know, I'm just enjoying it. It's and done I was a, too. Oh and it's gosh. done. How long did it take you? It took me a week and a day. A week and a day. Yeah. And I just, that was okay, guys. hard push. The book's not out yet. We haven't announced it. You know nothing about it. I just want you to remember when we announce it that one double page spread drawn over four pages. Four 11 by 17 pages is the original artwork. Took him a week and a day. I've had some that have taken longer. I know you have. I just want people to appreciate but, you know, it. This one, honestly, this would have taken longer, except that I I just, I put every minute of every day. I haven't answered email. I've been like really neglecting things just to get that done. Week and a day. Yeah. Rodrigo Bereza for five reels. Dave, every time I'm inking, I struggle to block the black shadows. As I'm always afraid of too much contrast, do you have any tips on that? Um, you know, I, I would say what you want to do is, so you have a choice, you know, so I'm going to go back to my figure here. Uh, now I can light it like this, which is still a decent amount of shadow, or I could really, you know, really bring that up like this and, you know, and how and all I'm doing really is I've got the light coming in. Well, I've, I've already drawn it here. So now what I'm doing is is drawing the light much more uh, flat to his side. And so it, it creates a lot more shadow. And so this is where you end up with more contrast. And so it's it's just, you know, it's deciding. So just based on how shadowed I want it to be, I, I can make it much darker and much more shadowed. I'm just going to shadow the leg out completely. So it's it's a choice, and there's no rule to it. I wish there was for a lot of this stuff, but the rule is, you know, if you want it to be really shadowed, you can do that, and you can see that's much more shadowed than it was, but, you know, you're making that choice. And so you decide whether you want to just, or, you know, uh, like on this figure, I'll just put just a very little bit of shadow just under things, you know, a little bit here. I'm lighting the same way, but I don't need to go really heavy with, with uh you know with shadow i could even just do like this is more of a line weight kind of an approach so you make those choices definitely it's it's something that you know uh yeah it's a choice you have to make um what does nsfw mean not safe for work okay michael johnson curry has a super chat for five dollars hey also story about the inktober arts that were nsfw on the discord times be way different than the 90s and didn't mean to make trouble for you or your mods oh thank you i appreciate it yeah times are, are definitely different and we are um you know trying to make all of our communities be uh you know a place that everybody can uh, enjoy and you know what i mean so yes i appreciate it thank you henry jermick wants to know if i can tell everybody what genre the new book is no, I can't talk about there's it. There's no genre. I can't. There's no genre. I can't talk about it. Can't say anything. Yeah. Just know that it's taking a long time, and it's his magnum opus. That's well, what I keep calling it. I keep. Calling I figure it I'm going to get to the last opus. page. One of these days, I'll get to the last page. It will it's happen. Magnum opus, and I will it's, literally fall over dead. It's your burning right to Frankenstein. You sure as hell better not fall over dead, because I need you to help me build barns and muck poop stalls. And pick eggs from chickens. Collect eggs. You remember the part where you promised me that I wouldn't Dig have to do posts. that? You remember that, right? I remember that. I, I mean, I knew it was I'm a lie. I drive hating around on a tractor. There you go. And look, I, I need you to do that too. It's all going to happen. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. can't I wait. need you for all that. I need you to be my partner for the rest of my life. I'm dying. Don't make me get all soppy. <laughs> to be a farmer. Sappy. Don't make me be sappy. Dave, have you ever worked with Walden Wong? I have, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we have not done much, but we have actually uh, um, done something. I can't remember what, but I know that I have. Yeah, why is that? I know somebody asked. Oh yeah, yeah. They he's he's got one. a YouTube channel, by the way. He's actually been on our stream. He came by and said hi at one yeah. point. So yeah, he's a okay. very very nice guy. I've met him at shows here and there. He's yeah, he's great. I love him to death. We're at five hundred and seventy four likes, by the way. Wow, that's great. I think, which is great. It's always so nice. 
And apparently Brandon East West is, says there's lots of sappiness on the stream. It's your fault, people. <laughs> if you didn't ask the questions, you wouldn't get the sap. Yeah, you know what? I agree with uh, Brandon. By the way, I agree. Well, we're sick. I mean, come on. I can be somewhat mean. Yeah, you. Yeah, oh, you can. <laughs> Just don't call this house on the telephone. The camera goes off. She starts screaming. Just don't call this house on the phone. I answer the phone. I'm like, hello. Oh, yeah, it's true. I'm like, why are you calling here? That's the, that's the way I answer the phone. I'm like, hello? And people are like, uh, uh, is Dave there? The first time Robert Marzullo called, he's like, is Dave there? I'm like, who's this? Robert's like, it's Robert. Robert who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this totally like mean telephone voice. He's like, Robert Marzullo. I'm like, oh, hey. And then my voice immediately changes. Oh, hey, Robert, how's it going? Blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm, I'm sure your, he's thinking like, okay. I'm your, I'm your call screener. It's not fun. Yeah. It's not fun. You never know who's going to call. Yeah. It could be Kenny Wang. And oh, Kenny, come on. <laughs> push him for more likes. Come on, Kenny. I had to throw that in. Come on. Well, I'm almost done here. Wrapped up pretty quick. That's pretty good because it's only 10 10. I don't know yeah. why my battery and my. Well, I'll tell you what my secret so is quickly. for this one. My secret is that she's coming up out of the floor. And it's for Leslie. And it's for Leslie. Yeah. You're like, eh, no, we love Leslie. Oh, right. I'm like, I'm saying, and it's for Leslie. I'm forgetting that you're saying that you're implying that I did it quickly because <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not Leslie. No. That's not true, that's Leslie. Not true. I'm sorry that I was asleep on the couch when you guys talked on Zoom yesterday. Audrey, my niece, actually wanted me to draw uh, ElfQuest. I don't know if any no, of you are familiar with I, ElfQuest. I actually, that one, I did hear you say no to that one. Yeah. And, you know, I look, I loved ElfQuest. No, Elf I really Quest. did. And Wendy Peeney, that's, look, I, my sister had that stuff. I remember reading it when I was pretty young. That's a little, yeah, I can't do ElfQuest. I'd have people going, what is going on? All right. I think we're, we're right. done. I'm going to sign it. We are done. That's crazy. Art nine is banned. <laughs> Why? Art nine man says John Jeremy Villanova's stream is better than David's stream. If you think a stream is better, you're banned. Oh wow! <laughs> you put it on Dave's stream that a stream is better. We banned. All right, all right. Thank you, Keith, for reminding me about the garbage. <laughs> Anyway, tell everybody and their grandma to like this video. Well, thank you everyone for watching, spending some time with us again. Uh, it's been a good time. I had a lot of fun drawing uh, Shadow Cat. This is actually my second time ever drawing her. I drew her one other time on an X Men cover with 200 other characters. I was actually looking for a thumbnail to be able to do, and I thought oh, I've drawn her before, but she's so small. And the image that I had is pretty small. It just it wouldn't work. So I used Alan Davis because he's the master. He is the drawing master. You've, I've Kitty heard Pride. Alan Davis's name for so many years. Yep. So, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Thank uh, you, everybody who reminded me to take out the garbage. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. We'll see uh, you guys next week. Yeah, we'll see you all next week. It's going to be Meredith's choice next out. week. Meredith, is, Even if it is Friday the 13th, I'm making know, the choice. Somebody, I, I could swear that I... Agreed to something. I think be, somebody mentioned Gambit, remember? No, it's supposed to be Meredith's choice last week, but then it was made it? a Leslie's choice. It's gonna be Meredith's choice. Okay, Meredith's choice and then Gambit. Meredith answering the phone. And then somebody called me out on Ghost Rider. Yeah, we'll see. I shouldn't make it so obvious Meredith's how easy choice. I'm to call super out. Super chat, Keldon, <laughs> Sheldon Martin, last super chat, five dollars. Dave, next year put on a fat suit and go as Kingpin for Halloween and take pictures. Thanks. Hey, if I don't turn it around, I won't have to put on a fat suit at all. <laughs> and uh, I just saw Kenny Wang um said spawn. Oh, yeah, that's not Mayor's choice. Okay, you know what? Spawn. Stop it! Next, Stop next it, choice, Kenny Wang! Next I'm week gonna be ban you choice, from the then, chat! Then, uh, yeah, and we also have Death's Head, too, Henry Jeremick. Yeah, so... Uh, and that one, I also promised. We're doing Death's Head, too, so I need to get that one in there. Oh, I, what I need to do is write down a list, so it's not... Because what happens is I forget... And then I just do what I want to do. And so I promised I would draw something. I end up not drawing it. So I'm right. I got my piece of paper right here. All right. We're going to keep you guys here all night. Just going back and forth. No, like we're this. not. So we got to go to bed. Meredith, <laughs> good night, everyone. Thank you so much see for you watching. Next week. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Have Give a me great some week. music. Use a sound effect on the way out. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. And everybody stay safe out there. Good luck. I, the only one I have is the intro, but I, I think care. it works as an outro. Good here luck to our American friends. <laughs> all right. <laughs>